Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. Lit. Oh, snap. Is that a fidgy? Yeah, it's a fidgy for my fingies. <laughs> Ew. Can this conversation why, stop? Why did I hate that? <laughs> I don't know, but it did feel weird I, to say. I just didn't like those words. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah, I hated every part of that. I'm Guys, welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons and Junk Drawer. Dang. We are back with a whole new episode. Uh, thank you for bearing with us while we figure out our recording schedule and people get sick. I am people. I was sick. Um, still a little sick, but thank you for bearing with us. It takes the writers so long to write these episodes, but you guys are you guys are just being so patient, and we really appreciate that. Uh, leading off our shout-outs this evening, we are going to go with the man in purple, Mike Spillane. Hey, Purple tonight, Vamos Orlando, playoff game against Nashville. So uh, really hoping that the boys pull out a dub tonight. Um, but make sure you're following us on uh, Instagram at The Junk Tour Show, Twitter, The Junk Tour Show. Take we lost you. Or maybe I lost everyone. Okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> I, I can hear you all now, but... I couldn't see. Mike, would you, you do? You guys move in? I don't Mike? know. No, I think. Oh, you're back. <laughs> Mike's, Mike's mic went out. I think. I just don't see. Am I back? Yes. Yeah, you're back. Okay. Cool. So follow us on everything that I already said that you didn't hear at the Junk Drawer Show, um, on all of the platformies. Um, I love you guys. Um, I don't think I have anything else that I needed to shout out. Oh, um, aside from uh, thank you to uh, Johnny Depp from the Secret Window for being here today with us. Uh, he fixed his hair. Uh, but Carlos definitely gave serious secret window vibes earlier tonight. Um, there we go. See, look, Johnny Depp secret window. Boom. Right there. Same oh, guy. To the He's audience, right you'll see it soon. I'm having uh, video connection <laughs> issues, so I can't see Carlos or Justin. Right, oh, there's Carlos. Hey, it's Johnny Depp. Oh, from the secret hey, window. Hey, secret yeah. window. Where'd, go? Where'd Carlos go? It's just only Johnny. <laughs> There is no Carlos. Oh, no. I'm just going to keep refreshing until I can see stuff. Can, oh, no. Can, are people there? Can I can hear you. Okay. That's I progress. hear you. Uh, Roll 20 is not being so great right now. So maybe it's oh, Roll yeah, 20 that's dying for us. I think it's Roll 20 because I got like a um, connection um message i did too i'm gonna keep I got one of those as well oh so it's not just me yeah Roll i got one of those as well new mic and i hate it uh it's all a right. scripted part this is all scripted yeah the writers are really uh creative today. really creative today they're yeah. getting very grounded in reality mm -hmm. getting real ballsy you know they were asking us to pay them more and we're like why <laughs> We'll give you a so you deserve it, writers. Is this the writer strike? <laughs> 2008 all over again. <laughs> no. It's better than 2020. Now we're gonna Sorry. have shitty TV. But we'll also get Doctor Horrible sing along blog. So kind of even yeah, like the yeah. one. Got to yeah. weigh your pros and cons on that one. Because Joss hear... Whedon's a monster. Can you guys hear this? Yeah, I can. Hear you I can talking. totally hear you. No, not. Oh, uh, I meant the fidget spinner. No. <laughs> A little bit. All right. I just I'm trying to wait for Justin's video to come back, and I feel like well, it's well. I too. I X'd out of the browser, and I'm coming back. It's loading. Just oh, go on okay. to the next person. Okay. Fine, Josh, go. Oh uh, fuck. Okay. Um, I didn't get a chance to think about it. So shout out to uh, wine. Here, uh, I like drinking you. I can do it. Appreciate you. Uh, second, I'm gonna shout out Riley. She helped me pick out this shirt. So shout Ooh. out Riley. Good job picking out shirts. A dope shirt. Right? She's got good taste. And last but not least, we'll shout out Donovan, as we always do, with a big old three, two, one. Fuck, Fuck you, you, Donovan. 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 That's right. Idiot. Fuck you, Donovan. Idiot boy. Back to you, Pat. <laughs> Idiot boy.
Uh, we will now go to the man that has a camera and maybe a secret window, Carlos. That's me. Uh, no, I'm going to give a shout out to, I'm going to say the weather today because it's actually been quite pleasant the last couple of days here in Florida. Preach. So I was freezing my ass off this morning getting into work at seven o'clock, but you know what? Worth it. I look real cute today. Y'all are never going to see it, but I look real cute. Back to you, Pat. Happy, happy to take it back, Carlos. Last but certainly not least, the man that is with us, question mark? Yeah, I'm here. Dice Daddy! Oh my god, thank you. First, I want to shout out Roll20. <laughs> Being a wonderful platform that allows us to be connected together. Um, okay, not ironic at all. Say this. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> Uh, also, shout out to Wizards of the Coast for now owning uh, two shows that we stream now and uh, basically owning my soul. Thanks for making products that uh, I get to enjoy, even though you're problematic. Sponsor us! Uh, Addictive is the word you're looking for. Yes. Uh, and finally, I would like to shout out uh, Johnny Depp and Blow. Can't believe you came out of here all the way just to see us. I really appreciate it. Huge fan. First time, long time, but big fan. Big, big fan. Loved you. Back to you, Pat. Happy happy to be here. Uh, I would also like to shout out Johnny Depp from Sleepy Hollow. Thank you. It must have taken a very long time for you to get here via horse and Christina Ricci. So thank you. We appreciate that. Uh, I would also like to shout out my very pregnant wife. Uh, I love you. Thank you for letting me play Imagination with these idiots. Uh, whenever we can get together and play Imagination. Um, I would also, also like to shout out Mike Spillane, who's going to do a 1v1 for Justin and I uh, for <laughs> some characters that we made. And I'm going to fucking kill Justin. I'm going <laughs> to shove poop in his butt. Yikes. Oh, you got a poop ass. <laughs> Who's poop? Poop ass. It has not been uh, said yet. We haven't released that information, but poop you'll know. Undecided. Good. I will turn. I will tune in for the mystery. <laughs> I will. I will tune in for the poop information. It's very evil. Everything comes. I'm down here to for poop. the scatological mystery. Uh, I would also, 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 also like to shout out my brother Kenny. Because uh, he was here uh, last week with my mom and my cousin, Alex, uh, and we went to Disney and hung out and everything. But Kenny bought me something really cool that I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach with headphones on. So give me one second. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, man. Well, Guys, describe it to me. For Pat. We are waiting for Pat to get the thing from his room. looks heavy. Oh, my God. Someone is stopping Oh. oh. What is it? It's a okay. rock. You seen it? It's a Mandalorian helmet. Uh, it's the Mandalorian helmet, and he got it for me for Christmas as an early Christmas gift, and I appreciate him. And that also feeds into a D and D character that I have. So thanks, Kenny. Much appreciated. Um, I would totally wear this to play, but uh, then you wouldn't be able to hear anything I said. So anyway, that's all I got. That's all we got. Now we just have one more thing left to do. And that is to let Dice Daddy know. Whenever you're ready. <gasps> I or am whenever ready. Roll20 is ready. Well, I, I could still talk. Let's just chat. <laughs> so, last time we were all together, we were in uh, Falsera. Ooh, things are popping up for me. Uh, we were in is that a banana Falsera? in your pocket? No, the fucking website. Oh. God damn it. All I can see is Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Good. You mean Johnny Depp? Now I can see Josh. Good. There we go. Should I reconnect so I can see oh, my see other you. two players? Eh. No, let everyone else reconnect because I can right finally here. see you. Just a little uh, trick here. Went to the old incognito tab, not for, only for ooh. porn, but also for when a window doesn't work. Wait, you mean it works for stuff that isn't porn? That's what I've heard. You can use it for porn? I don't know. All I know is I have a hot key. I got that hot key down, baby. Oh, it's it a now. hot, hot key for sure. You put that control shift and then you hit that end, dude. And then boner city. Oh, 
Oh, Boner Mike's gone town. Now. Boner. I reconnected because I wasn't seeing Justin. Boner town. Now Am I can back? see. I can see all my friends. And Pat. Uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so last time we were all together, uh, we were in the city of Falsera, and uh, Thor had wandered and meandered his way to the careful river massage parlor uh, and spa and resort, where he met a very lovely man by the name of Ivanov, Ivan for short, who he befriended, and in the meantime, Thok, Loki, Alder, and Danny Dwarfito, Alder's childhood friend, played a game of coppers, you guys shot the shit, had some some laughs, some fun. Eventually, Thor brought a uh, very sleepy, intoxicated uh, Ivan to the uh, what was it? The uneven stool, the unstable table. Uneven, unstable table. That's <laughs> it. unstable table uh, because he took his inauguratory uh, Asgardian ale sip and and knocked him out. Uh, however, everyone decided to convene at the Sleeping Giant Inn, which is a very lovely, lovely uh, tavern slash hotel. Uh, and we're going to kind of take it from there. So this inn is a grand stone-walled building. It's massive. And it has these giant carved wooden doors. Uh, there is very – there's a very large accommodation. So there are several floors. I'll say it's about – maybe six or seven stories of you can guess of different rooms when you come in there's a giant hearth everything is very like warm and cozy everything uh is kind of like um las vegas themed so every inn has its own little thing so every there are like oversized chairs like all the pews are just like one big oversized chair for the novelty uh it's adorable and uh the person who's at the kind of like the hostess table is a very short uh female dwarf as you kind of come up and she goes hi welcome to the sleeping giant um will all of you be staying with us tonight uh y yes yes uh yes we will lovely yes. lovely well um, dinner has, uh, already been served, but I believe that we do still have some food left over. If you're hungry, we have, uh, braised porridge, uh, with artichoke and a glass of brandy. That's about four silver pieces, steamed dragon and currant pie. Uh, the dragon's not really real dragon. It's just more for the, uh, well, we have quite a bit of variety here. So, uh, it will be two golds per night per room, uh, if you decide to uh hunker down or decide to bunk up to save on cost and she'll just sit there as she takes in your all your stuff oh uh, she's she's bringing it in her herself or well she has to she has like a little ledger so she's like i just put you down here and then eventually uh the bus boys will be able to bring up your um any kind of bags you may have uh we do have your keys uh, we do have keys under the uh, stand here, so if you're looking for each individual rooms, or if you're looking for one big specific room, no luxury, uh, unspent. I I slide her uh, fifty gold, and I tell her make sure we're not disturbed, uh, and bring up some food at some point. Very good, sir. And uh, she puts. Um, let's see here. There are. Five of you, six with uh, Tibrin, seven with Yvonne. So she puts seven keys out, and um, she goes, I hope this uh, everything is to your accommodation and to your liking, and uh, please let me know if you need anything. Um, my name is Corey. C-O-R-D-I? A-H-O-R-I. Wait, what? K Corey. Oh, okay. oh, Corey. Corey. Okay. At least it said A. I thought you said A as oh. well. I was like, Orish. a hori? A, a hori. Whore. No, uh, hori. K. And I'll I'll look at her and, and be uh, her. Yes? yes. Yes. Her. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I will uh, look at her and just be like, uh, some of that is for you personally as well. So just feel free to break off. Make sure we're not disturbed. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, and I'll grab one of the keys and and start heading upstairs. Okay. And do you have any extra blankets? 
we can have uh, extra blankets accommodated to your room. Uh, can you just uh, tell me which room you're in? Um, Loki looks down at, at the six remaining keys. Mm-hmm. Which one is the best one? <laughs> and she looks and she goes, well, um, it does look like all of you are on the same room, which is the fourth floor. Um, even, so... I mean, you have evens and odds. Uh, it looks like you are across from each other. All of them are roughly the, the same kind of room. Okay. Can you lie to me and tell me one of them's better? Of course. Um, this one is the grandest room that we have, and she pushes a key towards you. Oh, Respect yes. It. This is the this <laughs> is the room for me. Hear that? Talk is attempting to snatch it, so I'm going to need a... Uh, I need a sleight of hand check from Thok, and I need a dex check from Loki. Dex check. Oh, the sleight of hand. Dude, you're trying to snatch something. I mean, I'm not trying to steal it. Man, it's not bad. What do you get? You got a 15. What'd you get? Shit, I got a nine. So, <laughs> can't even use I, my I Riley kind of, like, roll. Look over. Thok is like, yoink. Well, and I toss the keys to Tibrin. Tibrin catches it. Well, she was shrugs. lying anyway. Your second best room, please. Second best room is right, right and, there. And Loki's like watching his back, making sure Alder doesn't try to take it or anyone else. I flinch. <laughs> <laughs> no. And as soon as she pushes it forward, he grabs it really quick. And says, thank you. I will be in room 469. Forward. 420, blaze it. Or Tony plays it. Uh, <laughs> this room smells like a skunk. <laughs> wow. yeah, real contact high, brother. Um, hey, do you guys have any Bob Marley in the Whalers? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have some Funyuns on my pillow instead of a mint, um, which sounds delicious right now. I'd love some Funyuns. <laughs> Get it? It's because they're funny onions, you know? Oh, God. I fucking hate this. <laughs> so, so Th- Thok, have you already started walking away? No. Okay. Um, as soon as I get the key, I'll start walking. And then, um, was it Minor Illusion, right? It's That's how long it's been that I forget what spells are called. Yes. Yeah. So Minor Illusion. I'll use Minor Illusion into Thok's head and say, hey, we've got to plan out tomorrow. Don't fall asleep too early. I... Oh, and... I can't reply, can I? No, no. So I just say that as I'm walking past um, into your brain. And then I go up to my room and start to... Uh, the shovel that's not the word whatever okay just robe thank you <laughs> the, the thank shovel you. <laughs> sorry fucking shit up on doth <laughs> um all of the rooms are very large <laughs> they're all the equivalent of maybe like a large living room the accommodations are very nice there is a very large uh bed with a woolen mattress as opposed to most things that are kind of stuffed with hay so it's like sleeping on a very giant pillow like the sleeping giant uh there's some nice like a little dresser a nice little bureau there's a little washing you know basin for your hands uh, a little clawfoot tub like it can accommodate all of these things uh that's how big the room is and it's just it's very lovely so i will fully immerse myself in the room um take anything and any cl- extra clothing i have put it into the Bureau, um, start running the... Oh, you are a psychopath. Yeah. You said uh, the ba- the bath, right? There's a bath? Yep. There's a clawfoot tub that can accommodate like two people. Okay. I will turn that on and I will look around for any sort of um, oils or bubble bath or bath bombs with a little surprise inside. <laughs> I will say that there are kind Onions. of aromatic uh, perfumes and stuff that you can uh put into the bath if you so please okay then yes i will do that i will get the bath running make sure it's nice and hot place things away as it's as if it's my own home and yeah as that's running just situate myself in the room okay alder thok what are you guys doing thor so at this point alder is uh He's just gonna go up, take his armor off, um, make himself a little bit more comfortable. Obviously, already had a couple drinks with Danny and the boys, so um, he's at the point right now where he knows that 
he's not drunk or anything like that, but if he doesn't keep drinking, he's going to just get tired and fall asleep. Right. So he's going to uh, clean up a little bit and then head down to the bar for a drink and try and uh, see if he could at least get the attention of uh, Falk and Thor before he does so. Um, Loki as well, but uh, obviously Loki seemed like he was kind of eager to run off and do his own thing. Um, but we got to figure out, obviously we have quite a few things we need to go take a look into. So we really need to discuss what the plan is as far as where we're going for that tomorrow. Quick so. question. Is this Alder or is this Mike? If he doesn't keep drinking, he's going to fall asleep. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. All right. Oh man. The lines are so blurred right now. <laughs> yeah, just like a Robin Thicke song. Gross. Fantasy yep. reflects reality. <laughs> uh, so it it doesn't take you too long like i said this is a very uh kind of beautiful large spacious room so you're able to spread out you're able to do undoff your armor and i'll say each um room kind of has two kind of like body forms or mannequins so you're able to put your armor on the form so that way it just stays upright it looks like they accommodate a lot of adventurers so it's not unheard of to have like a little coat rack and, you know, an umbrella stand, which you can put your staff in. Um, I will also say that the uh, tubs here are enchanted uh, in the regard that they can fill with water, but you can kind of slide. Uh, it, it has this kind of um, memory technology or spell where you kind of go in and it goes to your ideal temperature that you can think about if you want it to be like comfortable, hot, uh, cold. It's it's just a nice little feature that just warms the water up or, or cools it. Um, but yeah, uh, after a while, you're able to kind of undoff and yes, Alder. So is it just like ideal temperature or can it come out as stuff other than water? Because I don't know, a high C ecto cooler bath sounds really cool. <laughs> no high C ecto cooler, oh, it is water. Refreshing. Damn, I'd you be didn't pay so for the much money. Cooler. Be so much money right there. People love the Ecto Cooler. Yeah, fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. I'm it's nerds. It's me. I'm nerds. It's me, the boy. <laughs> nerds. Get me some Ecto Cooler. Um, so eventually, you do go into kind of like these nice casuals. Uh, why don't you describe your casual, like your loungewear, for me, my guy? Is it like you wearing, rocking like a kimono? You are rocking your Under Armour? Uh, oh my god, please have a mono. <laughs> no, I, 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 I mean, you guys have been traveling with me for a long time. Uh, I really just kind of have like my, my, my Under Armour essentially, um, which is basically just for the most part kind of like earth and tones, just relatively simple means kind of clothing. Nothing, not like a evening wear or anything like that. Um, something that I probably should pick up though uh, at some point, something a little bit nicer or. Uh, Maybe if I visit my folks, I can go ahead and get something a little bit more put together uh, from my past. Okay. And as you're kind of, I would say you're meandering about the lobby, waiting to catch Thok or Thor. And speaking of Thok or Thor, uh, who wants to pitch me what they're doing in their in their room? You can go first. Thok. Just lob it in. in. All you got to do uh, is snack it. So Tiburon and I are obviously going to be in the same room. Yes. And we're going to go into the tub. And uh, both of us are going to go into the tub. And we're going to experiment on if I think cold on his side, if it turns cold or not. <laughs> and if he like thinks the temperature on my side, if it changes that temperature. And okay. just kind of like fuck around that way. And so, be like, back go ahead. <laughs> no, no, that, that was it. Huh, why is it cold? Why did you fucking bastard? Oh, why is it cold? Awesome. I was just like, to did you way. do this? You did this? I know. How about no, this? No, How about this? Like, and the water just feels very warm, like someone peed in it. <laughs> like it's that, that weird comfort warm. Is he that... goes, Did I pee in the in the bathtub? Or I'm making it think I peed in the bathtub. Who knows? And I'm gonna make it feel like his ass is on fire. Like Ha. 200 degree high. Okay, all right. And he's getting, he's like, I'm out of the tub. I'm getting out of the tub. <laughs> You're a bitch. And then I'm just going to walk around like Hulk and Thor Ragnarok, like just with a giant towel around my waist, and that's it. Cool. And you guys are enjoying your room. 
uh, mm. just enjoying how large it is. And you guys are talking. Obviously, you have your armors on the two uh, forms, and you have your nightwear kind of picked out. If you want to describe, what are Tiburon and Thok wearing? Oh, Thok's wearing a towel. Yeah, well, I'm we talking about we later. No, he's you wear a, a towel, tie, a <laughs> towel yeah, in the tavern, good. are you? Um, so Dicks out in the tavern. When we were in the tavern, like, did it look like there was at least some form of class, or it was just like ratty comfort. ass tavern it's not ratty it's very high end but it's comfort everyone was dressed comfortable so okay. like bathrobes jammies fucking like silks just really like comfortable loungewear oh um then thok uh, i don't know about tiburon but thok would be wearing um kind of like his under armor for like yeah. a better term yeah. um so like that like baby blue like shirt with um like the khaki-ish almost like yoga pants like pants okay and uh but he still has his sword strapped to his back fair enough um and while you do that i will say tibran tibran definitely has a, a kimono i'm just oh, gonna just... He definitely has like a silk robe <laughs> kind of situated uh got some like little flip-flops on it's a different kind of like blues teals and greens that kind of swirl around almost like the ocean uh and i will say you gifted it to him a few years ago and he only wears it on uh nice occasions he literally does not break it out unless it's like an anniversary or he's not on the fucking boat because it'll get dirty <laughs> i like telling him i was like that thing is held up and the past years you know you take care of the things that take care of you i know that's why i take care of you and that's why i take care of you and he smiles and puts his hand out for you to to grab so we can you guys can part as i like grab it to go kiss it i lick the back of his pad the oh <laughs> it's so gross you just why do you why do you ruin it why do you ruin it it's more memorable that way and he smiles and kind of pushes your your face away from his playful eye <coughs> as head out. Uh, Thor, what you, what you doing in your big old ass room, buddy? Uh, so I would go in, uh, do doth my armor, I uh, would not get a bath because I'd literally come to the unstable table from a bathhouse, so <coughs> already kind of clean. Um, and would kind of just sit. I would lay out my uh, evening wear uh, on the bed and just kind of get lost in thought for a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, let the last couple of days really kind of sink in. Uh, I think about hearing uh, the cracks from Anya and and the sound of, of Ares ripping the wings off and seeing Loki for the first time. Um, just a, a lot of emotions. Um, you know, seeing uh, Helm in rough shape and just kind of thinking about the last, for me, what was days, but has actually been a, a series of months. Uh, and just kind of getting lost in thought for a little bit. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, it, a lot has happened in the past few days between uh, the incursion of Valoria being on Asgard, seeing um, essentially the Enchantress, uh, having a run-in with the uh, Destroyer, going back to the Isle of Storms and seeing that things have moved on without you there, seeing Hercules again. Just a lot of things have really piled up and eventually you are able to kind of like lean over on your bed kind of arm on resting on the headrest and you just take like a big breath in and just kind of let it out uh and then i will uh get dressed in these silks mm -hmm. uh that i have uh 
probably more visible than it's ever been before. Normally it's stuck behind a, a, a breastplate of some kind. Uh, but the, the locket from Sif, uh, somewhat visible, um, wearing a uh, black pant, like black silk pants uh, and a white shirt, a long sleeve. Uh, I would tuck the other sleeve in, not knowing what to do with it because uh, right. I like don't have another arm. Uh, and would button, you know, leave two, three buttons unbuttoned up top and then put a black vest over it. Uh, I would leave Mjolnir hanging on a, a, a wall hanger of some kind yeah. uh, before just kind of, again, getting lost in thought and being stone sober, having had nothing to drink, uh, would then walk out and walk towards uh, the tavern. Yeah, the main lobby where the the bar is. Um, and while you're doing that, Loki, how long are you staying in the tub? Um, since I'm close to the other rooms, when I hear that pretty much everyone has has gone in and then left the rooms ready to go downstairs, I kind of assume that that we're going downstairs to meet. Um, so whatever time it takes for everyone to leave the room last so i guess thor when he closes the door to go downstairs loki will <sighs> all right and at that point he would know that the water is um enchanted right or the bath mm -hmm. is enchanted yeah okay so he would think ice cold water and instantly it would become so cold and it would just waken him waken him up and the the drunkenness that he was feeling would, would be lessened a bit mm -hmm. so he jumps out sharp ready to go oh okay um what have i got what have i got for tonight oh <laughs> i don't need anything and i cast disguise self and mm -hmm. loki has a full three-piece suit on um with you know pocket watch gold chain the whole lot and yeah. he opens the door stretches a little bit and uh begins to walk down the stairs um, from the stairs, can he see the group? Yeah, you can see what I'll say because you are the last. <clears throat> and we'll cut to the rest of the party. Uh, one by one, Alder, you being first, followed closely by actually uh, Eva, uh, Ivan. And soon, I would say actually Thor, then Thok and Tibrin, since they were also kind of in the bath but eventually the five of you kind of convene at the base of the stairs as there is a very meek kind of looking i would say like youngish kind of uh human male who's kind of like counting all of you he's like okay we have um one two three um i think there's one more in your party i believe we have a table in the back for a uh, team party of 50 uh, that's that's just the name I have here. It's not a party of 50, just 50. Um, are we waiting for one person? I believe I have one person here, or would you want me to fetch them? Can you describe what they look like? You can just sit us down in the back. They'll find us. You got it. Yes, uh, yes sirs. Uh, come and uh, follow me. And uh, as he's kind of walking, I'll also describe what Ivan is wearing. He is wearing a very nice uh, almost Hugh Hefner style robe with like these slippers and he's looking at you guys and he's like you guys didn't put on for the robes you guys didn't look for robes there were robes yeah there were robes there were robes in the uh, in the vanity you did not check the vanity uh, so I didn't even think to look I just yeah there are like two robes in there I didn't think it was gonna fit and then whoop, it fit it's like it yeah, that's creepy. It's quality. Should yeah, we go no. back up for the robe? Like, is it... I mean, like, feel, feel. <laughs> and everyone's, like, feeling the robe. And it's just this really nice, like, uh, suede and velvet. And he's like, I'm, you know, I haven't worn anything like this before. Uh, usually not used to things without holes in it or some kind of dirt or musk on it. So, no, it is actually quite nice. I'll have to... We go back up. I'll have to grab one for myself. Oh yes, please. It's like having your uh, your balls in undercarriage in like a cloud. I look at Tibber and I'm like, when Tibber's like, robes. you should have looked for the robe. I mean, we can still go up. You'd like the back of my hand. 
We're sitting down. <laughs> We're sitting down now. Um, eventually, you guys are seated in the back of the tavern. It's very nice, quiet. Uh, everything is kind of, um, uh, I would say, on this side of the room, you have your two big chairs that are kind of fitting for pews. They can comfortably fit, I would say, at least like six people on each side. So really, you can spread out. Cool. Because these are all like giant furniture. So it's like, it's to a common and a giant. Um, <clears throat> and eventually... Uh, <laughs> Is there a theme to this this establishment? No. Uh, okay, cool. Big stuff. <laughs> big stuff. Just big stuff. Just big stuff. Um, there's a table that is full of different assortments of uh, entrees, which I will say there is uh, a few roasted mutton and oat bis uh, biscuits. There is a baked hare and a grape pie. Uh, baked duck, what looks to be sugar and onion, like brown sugar over onions, uh, and then kind of like sautéed. Dried partridge and watercress. Uh, there is the steam dragon that they had uh, earlier, earlier kind of alluded to, which is just kind of like this frothy like soup uh, with a currant pie. And then there is a braised partridge with a choke. <coughs> um, and the young man goes, um, so uh, us here at the sleeping uh, giant, we kind of pride ourselves on our uh, alcohol selection. And uh, if you could, uh, everyone just uh, think of a number between one and 100 and uh, we, we have our full list right here. And I'll just say for brevity, he does put the um, the menu down, but I'm going to have you guys roll D100s. And when I tell you what the drink is, you're going to pretend that you want it. Oh, am, I, am I there yet? You're, you're making your way downtown. Okay. You're making an entrance. Walking fast. Richard Loki. 87. Okay. 87. The uh, drink that you look is super interesting. It's called the Cthulhu Brew. Oh, no. <laughs> How much is it? Uh, it is 90 copper, so like... like a, a silver. Few, yeah, a silver. I'll take three. Three, and he goes, Okay, three Cthulhu Brew is very good, sir. Very good. Um, Just so you know... Actually, no, no, hold on. I'll, uh, well, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say that the mouthfeel on this is a little bit uh, kind of thicker, like a, like a molasses or a syrup. So this is like a sipping drink. Okay. Uh, then uh, in that case, rather than three, uh, one for everyone at the table. Yes, one for everyone at the table. Very good, sir. Uh, who else? Uh, 77. 77. Perusing through uh, the menu, you see something that says gut buster. And it looks to be an ale. I suppose that is what I will have. <laughs> and he goes, okay. Gut buster, very good, sir. Uh, Thok? 56. 56. Also, uh, if you want to roll for Tibrim, you can. And then, uh, Thor, I'm going to have you roll for Ivan. That was cock. So, Thok, you said uh, 56? Correct. Uh, that is the nice citrus tea. Yeah, which you can have on the side because you know you're gonna have a <coughs> Cthulhu brew. Uh, eighty-two for Ivan. Okay. Ivan got the hop, skip, and go naked, so we're gonna have fun with that later. <laughs> it's like I don't understand what hop, skip, go naked is. Usually, go naked regardless, so this could be fun. Uh, uh, and uh, Thok, what did you get? Uh, Tiburon got fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. So with Tibrin's uh, 58, he goes, um, I'm going to try the Angry Tom's Furious Ale. It oh, sounds no. really interesting. Oh, God. What? We know what. We know how we get when you get a drink. I'm, it's just one. I will have that, please. And, uh, and the Cthulhu thing. Yes, yes, of course. And I'm he goes, um, do you want me to get one for your, your, your friend that we're waiting for? Or, uh, Yeah, of course. Okay, uh, just give me a few moments and uh, I'll start you off with some uh, waters. Please dig in. Uh, everything has been uh, made fresh for you guys. Sorry. Very well, thank you. 
as you guys are getting starting to dig in, Loki, how are you, how are you making your your grand entrance here? Um, well, I would like to piece. yes, I would like to stretch minor illusion just a little, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, sure. So at the top of the stairs, Loki takes a big inhale as he casts Mage Hand on his shoulder. So standing Glover standing there, just you know hanging out, and um, he uses minor. Question. Yes, go ahead. Is Glover also in a very tiny hand shaped suit? Oh, that's exactly where I was going. Minor, okay. <laughs> I would like to use minor illusion to put a um, a exact copy of my suit onto him, while also creating a um, some ethereal red rose petals that just appear in front of me, and um, as it only has a, a range of five feet, it's about six, about a foot ahead, and then stops four feet behind me. But you okay. see them almost as if um, think like cherry blossoms when they fall it it feels like that falling onto the actually no fuck it they're cherry blossoms and they're falling okay. onto the ground <laughs> and they're both walking there's also a small bit of cherry blossoms that just are constantly raining on top of glover okay um <clears throat> and then if i can dancing lights as well but they're very dim and they're just from the back so not okay. varied but enough that it looks like oh this this holy man is coming down the stairs in a three-piece suit with a little minion oh mm. everyone's like oh, this is fuck. douche it's so crazy <laughs> you kind of come down and what a there fucking is asshole. another wait staff and this is more kind of like a i would say um around the same age as the young man but uh she is female brown auburn hair kind of pulled back in a ponytail looks like she works at olive garden <laughs> looks like she's chewing something and she goes can i seat you for a table yes i believe i have my party has already been sat and i, I look around do i see them uh you do not because you are at the front room and she goes uh are you with um mr 50 that sounds correct, yes. All right. Uh, uh, follow me. Get too many of flowers on the floor. We got to sweep that up. Oh, and they're not she real. she starts walking. <laughs> Actually, after she says that... Oh, no. Did I, did I lose you guys? I can hear you. Can you hear us? I can us? hear you. I can't see you. I can hear you. Can you you just froze. Oh, you're back. You're back. I'm back, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah you guys froze for me, too, but I'm glad I'm back. Okay. Uh, so, so... You just... Instead of instead of saying the fake, I'm going to have Glover hop off and his costume's going to change into that of a janitor and he's going to begin sweeping up the, the rose petals behind me. And she just Sorry, kind of looks down and she goes, <coughs> fair. I try not to make a mess. I can't clean up. <coughs> I see that. Very fancy uh, get up you got there. Harumph. And she kind of just nods as she guides you over to the table. Uh, what are you guys discussing as you're waiting for your drinks? And don't worry, we'll get to the grand entrance. Well, I'm kind of just going to cut to the point, essentially. Like, well, I mentioned it to you guys earlier. We have a few options of where we go from here. And... Ashford basically said there's quite a few things going on that seem like there's a disturbance relative to might pique our interest as far as, you know, what's next for us. So it's going to take a while for the ship to get done and for us to get on our way to, um, the, to the moon thing. Um, so where do you guys want to go? What do you want to do? Well, last People that time, need our help, so. last time, uh, when we were at the unstable table, we had discussed that Thok would reach out to his Raven Queen friend uh, and just reach out and see what information he could get from there. Uh, and you and I were kind of split. You wanted to go to the, the Raven Queen area, and uh, I, I think going to the starving fish Whaling town would make sense just because there's starving people. Uh, so, and whaling makes me think of the whale, which makes me think of other things. So, that has my vote. Yeah, make a good point. Um, 
I say it's not going to be a bad idea to have Fark reach out to his Raven Queen friend first, just to see if he can give us an indication as to the severity of how how little contact his friends having with his patron, because I I, I worry that a god of that stature being interrupted is going to be heavy on what we're dealing with. Not that the other thing's not, it's just I feel like that they're in a similar wheelhouse. And I'm not religious, so I'm just kind of like, this is conjecture and assumption because I don't know a lot of things, but that's just that's just where I feel from Older, my understanding. Relax, relax. Yes, if... What are those drinks? With And, and <laughs> Thor's going to look around and kind of lean in more, more quiet in a more whispered tone. Just be like, yes, if the god of death disappears and there's another one fighting to be able to get that power there's reason to be concerned I agree with you they all have merit we just need to figure out where we're going to go first they all may lead into what we're going to be dealing with we just need to be smart and I think if we can go after the one that we are most aware of and the one that's most aware of us we're in a better spot does it make sense? Yeah. No, it does. And Thor will sit back um, and just kind of look at Alder. Does he seem rattled? Alder, do you seem rattled? When you say rattled, like, do you think, are you saying, like, do I look like I'm shaken up by all this? I don't want to say shaken up because I don't think you're, like, this is I'm over my head, but like, are you feeling heavy? Like you're feeling the weight and the gravity of things. <clears throat> We're well past that. Okay. Honestly, um, I've already felt the weight and gravity of all of these things, so I'm honestly calm about it. It's just the only thing that for me that's got me on edge more than anything is just kind of not knowing where we're going um right. that's that's where it is just because of the fact that with everything that's going on he feels like from things that have happened already it's very important that we be decisive as a group because we right. even though we're all still here individually and collectively we've suffered a lot of loss if we're not on the same page, it could be dire. So that's my mindset. And I, I'm, I have no problem communicating that as, as a group. This isn't just a description. Uh, I, I would have communicated that to, to everyone at our table as that those are my thoughts. Um, so I, I, I'm with the group. It's just I want to make sure that as a group, we all are on the same page. Also, it, it may not be a bad idea to go talk to Zunu and see what may be more pressing. And there's always an option as well. Uh, and Thor's going to lean back into Alder and be like, um, when I was out today, I got you something. What'd you get me? Uh, and I'm going to slide across the table two uh, gloves. And they are gloves of swimming and climbing. Uh, they are a wondrous item. Let me turn up the brightness on my screen real quick. And while wearing these gloves, climbing and swimming don't cost you extra movement, and you gain plus five bonus to strength checks made to climb or swim. Uh, and I will look at Alder and be like, I know you can shapeshift and, and such, but just in case, I know Thok is used to being on the sea and I can fly and Loki has that damn wyvern so I wanted to make sure that if something were to happen you'd be able to move effectively and I'm just going to kind of like take it and like let a like a, a beat pass and kind of clutch him close and just thank you uh, of course Honestly, the, they're like the nicest thing you guys have done for me. 
So I, I, I mean, not just you guys, but like, that's just, it means a lot because I'm kind of outside of everything that's going on here and I feel, feels important. Thank you. Alda, you, uh, and again, Thor is going to look over his shoulder. You are going to help save the world or die trying. You are just a big, as you are just as important a member of this team as anyone else. So we need to make sure that you can fight as effectively as the rest of us can. So being able to move freely throughout the water is going to be a very big, at least in this instance. Yeah, I'm ready for it. As ready as I'll ever be. Can we get that Cthulhu's cough syrup or whatever it's called? <laughs> so, so, so as you guys are having your nice moment, Loki, how would you like to enter and arrive at the table? <clears throat> uh, so as Loki gets closer and closer, he, he begins to let the rose petals or the uh, cherry blossoms fade um, into the ether and recasts Minor Illusion right not quite in the center of the table, but take the center of the table and move it f four feet toward um, Loki so that everyone turns and looks at him. And uh, it starts low and slowly gets louder, but you just hear, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, 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 bum, ba, da, ba. and it's, it's Rocky. It's Rocky music. And he's walking in. It's like, <laughs> I don't, I don't look. He's done this before. I don't look. And you just hear Rocky's Rocky's big music, and he's uh, like this. He's walking in, um, like just very like shoulders back, a lot of swaying, swinging his arms. Conor was, McGregor struck. Got it. Yeah, very much Conor McGregor with a with a less of an accent. This three piece suit and <laughs> the poor uh, like servers like I found your friend. Take Hello, gang. And. You see Ivan, and he has, like, one of the oat biscuits in his mouth, and he just kind of looks confusedly at you and then bites another one and just starts kind of clapping. Like oh, he thank has a you. biscuit in his mouth just holding it. I'm going to shoot Ivan a look, just, like, over, like, over, like, under the forehead and just stare at him. A, a quick glance, nothing like you're an idiot or anything. Just, like, oh, let's not encourage this. Oh, you're you're too kind. You're too kind. That's too dark. So you kind of slide in, and your drinks are at the table. Uh, the, there are a few servers that are like, okay, everyone's getting their thing. Uh, everyone, oh, you're here, sir. Very nice suit. Um, uh, Cthulhu brew for all of you. Um, and then we have our gut buster. Um, we have our angry Tom. Uh, our tea for you, sir. Um, I think that was it. And uh, oh, oh, the another no, naked one. The skip. The, the skip yeah, and the go naked. And the, the skip and, and go naked. You might want to drink that last. The angry Ivan's like, I mean, I drink it when I want to drink it. <laughs> the one that's the guy. What was that one? Uh, he got an angry Tom. Angry Tom. And uh, Loki, you were presented with a very bright liquid in front of you in a glass that looks like a mind flare because it has like tentacles. It looks like a tiki glass. Uh, and this is your opportunity as well if you would like to uh, look over the drink menu, aka roll a d100. Yes, I will look at the drink and say, "Oh, this is this is delightful." Um, well, let me bought see. them for the table. Oh, thank you, Alda. Thank you so much. Let me see what else is there. Uh, not so I can't drink yours. I will still drink it, but I see you all have two. I would like two as well. Uh, 56. 56. I think you did 56. That okay, is the T. So go ahead and reroll. Just so we can get something fun. Uh, two. Oh, three. Three? <laughs> yeah, just three. Just the three. Okay, so you are looking, and it is the Skull Buster XXX. Oh, it's porn? Perfect. Oh, he's getting yes. porn? <laughs> uh, drink. Yes, I would love to have this uh, Skull Buster XXX, please. 
Oh, wow. Okay. You're doing the Orca Shell. Got it. Um, there is a, uh, this doesn't actually cost anything. Uh, it's normally only given as a very rare gift, and he looks over at you, Thok, um, by the people of the orcs um, who have done a, uh, the orcish people a service. So, I mean, I feel like it's well as uh, any uh, having an, an orc friend. No, um, no offense. Not, not taken. I'll be back with your skull buster. And he's going to fucking hip toe it out of there. So we starting off with the Cthulhu <laughs> bruise. So while sure. Loki, uh, I kind of want to like retro, while Loki comes yeah. in and draws everyone's attention and the drinks are being set down, I'm going to try without Tibra noticing to switch our drinks. That he takes the cup tea. of tea for the angry Tom. Uh-huh. Okay. Go ahead and roll a sleight of hand check. <laughs> Natural one. Oh. So as you're kind of like moving things, Timber goes, "What are you doing?" He like looks at you while you're like two cups. I I thought that there was like a smudge on your glass. No 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 I no no no, like, no. You got tea. Put the if you want a sip, you can have a sip, but I'm drinking my drink. Okay. 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 Uh, don't need you to be my mom. So we're doing not like cleaning his cheek. And he's like, please stop. Oh my god, please stop. This is really weird. This is not a kink. Um <laughs> so the Cthulhu not brew. Not sexy. It's not hot. It's not even hot, though. Um, The liquid is very viscous. It is this slimy kind of green color. And the guy was not kidding. It sticks kind of like syrup. Uh, And I will give you, let's see here. Uh, It comes with like a little note card. And it tells you where it comes with. Uh, It says, uh, the description is, no one knows where this concoction comes from or what exactly it is made from. Strange monks in hooded robes deliver the drink by nightfall and give it to give it at a very highly discounted rate. Some say that drinking enough of it not only does the desired effects of the alcohol, but also enlightens their brain chemistry to a high state. Uh, there are notes of lic- licorice and absinthe. And uh, I'll go ahead and so wherever we're going next. Whatever we go next, yeah. All and right. <laughs> you all down it. Uh, I'll say because it's it's not unpleasant if you don't like say like Jägermeister or anything that's like Sambuca flavored. But uh, you see Ivan just kind of like down it and kind of does this. And uh, once consumed. The player gets telekinesis for the next 24 hours. Oh, but my God. in exchange, the player hears a dissonant whisper from another being calling to them to join the cult. Everyone roll a d6. Oh, oh God. Uh, Five. Two. That's cocked. One. 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 So everyone take that many points of psychic damage. <laughs> Fuck. Tibber, Tibber takes four. A t- Tipper and Takes 4, got it? And oh, Ivan I've also had... takes 5. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, Ow. God. And you all kind of hear like, you know, it'd be a really cool party hanging out in the depths of the deep. You guys all hear that, right? The person talking in the head? Yeah. Something, oh. yeah. For a low price of just two silver a month, you too could come to the cult of Cthulhu. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yes, Loki. You just, you just, like, just work on your downstream. You get two people into the cult, and then they get two people into the cult. And they tell two friends, and they tell two friends. Uh, so I have... Like a timeshare in Florida. <laughs> I have a ring of mind shielding um, that makes me immune to magic that allows creatures to read my thoughts, determine if I'm lying, know my alignment, or my creature type. Uh, they can telepathically communicate if I allow it. Does the mm-hmm. dissonant whisper has happen to me? I will say it's very muffled. So it's kind of like just hearing like uh, every once in a while, but it's not to that extent. I will say that your telekinesis is not as strong as everyone else's because you have the shield. McDonald's drive through quality. 
<laughs> okay. Then yeah, I. But if you were like across the street from the McDonald's. <laughs> gotcha. So I keep he- I hear the muffle and I just keep going like. Eh? Eh. Eh? You <laughs> take it off for the low fee of seventy. You too can trick your friends. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I hear it. And uh, yeah, you all can move things with your mind for the next 24 hours. I'm sure that's not going to go horrible. Oh my god. Um, Let's see here. Thor, you got the gut buster. I did. Uh, so let yeah. me tell you what your little... Very little... excited to experience that. So the gut buster is this very dark brown ale. It's thick. It says it is a dwarven brew. Very, very rarely shared with non-dwarves. And then upon drinking this brew, you are resistant to any kind of poison effects for the next 1d4 of hours. Oh, nice. Uh, one. One hour, you are free from poison, so no hangovers for you for an hour. Drink all you want. Woo! Hooray. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> um, let's see Proud here. of me, Mom. <laughs> Yeah, she, uh, your drinking was concerning. Um, why is this not? There we go. <laughs> Fuck, uh, there's a very nice dainty orange slice that decorates the side of the glass. Uh, it tastes like a mixture of orange, lemon, lemon ginger with a vague hint of spice. Uh, and it says travelers and nobles alike ingest this drink when they have a stomach that's upset and their tummy hurts as it is known to aid in both digestion as well as constipation. It's also rather good for helping cure the common cold and can be consumed either warm or cold. Uh, so this tea cures any minor sickness upon consumption as well as aids in any digestive problems that the drinker may experience. So if you've been plugged up, yikes. Uh, also grants a plus two to cold resistance for up to six hours. So it just kind of warms you up. Um. Yes. I'm going to, like, look at my drink and look at Tiburon's, and I'm just going to imagine, like, the face that I'm making is, like, when you order something you thought was super extravagant, and it's, like, this small, yeah. and he has, like, this giant porterhouse. <laughs> like, he I'm does. Just, like, he has a like... very big, um, it's a very large glass. It's a dark amber brown. You can smell notes of, like, buttercream, and it's just thick. It's almost the size of him. Uh, it has this top colored kind of head, uh, and you both kind of like look at the the card. It says it's traditionally brewed thick, dark ale in which black peppercorns are added to the mash and brewed at 4.2 absolute alcohol. It is rich, peppery, and not at all infuriating. Very pleasant, actually. Uh, and then it says pairs well with a very thick cut steak. I want a steak, and then we can just drink my drink. <laughs> You look at him, and he looks at you, and he goes, and he just slides the drink over. Go ahead and roll another D100, so Tiffany <laughs> get a, a fucking drink. Oh, I rolled another one, too, because I am i don't get drunk, and I rolled a 100. You rolled a 100, okay? I did. So I rolled 75. Okay, so we will go with 75 first. That is the beverage brew. Uh, which is a dark brown. I'll just tell you what it does. Uh, Made by the finest brewers in all the land, the beverage brew has the initial taste of joy and happiness, but an aftertaste that reflects the texture and taste of dirt. Uh, This drink uh, sends the drinker into a dream uh, where something really great happens to the character, and then after the effects uh, wear off, the character noticed that it was just a dream and most likely throws up from the taste of dirt. Cool. Perfect. So he's going to have a nice time. Um, <clears throat> and 100, the Mind Flare. Oh, fuck. It is bluish purple. It is brewed with the sole intent of forgetting whatever trouble you may have caused under its influence. The Mind Flare has, ma- has had many of its imbibers walking up in jail or naked in a puddle of their own vomit and piss. Or even one poor fella in bed with a deformed goblin named Bob. Only one shot is needed for, I did what? To take effect. <laughs> I did what uh, is until your next long rest, your intelligence is lowered by 
by 10 <laughs> afterwards until your second long rest, your intelligence is lowered by five. Note, your intelligence can never decrease below a one. So if you want to forget something, be dumb. You can take the shot. Or if you want, you can re-roll. I'm going to re-roll. Because it's Boo. fun for us, not for you. <laughs> right. This is so bag I of rats all over again. Lucky yeah. did that a month ago. Uh, 40. 40. 40, the eye of the beholder. It is a milky white. <laughs> and These an, all sound menacing. I an alcoholic like drink made by nomadic groups. Uh, Goliaths, in fact. In which a hard-boiled egg is added to fermented goat's milk. There are no special effects. That I will drink that. Okay. I drink Tibrin's drink that he gave okay. me. And Tibrin eventually gets his drink and he just kind of sips it. So, uh, now that your friend is here, uh, do we talk uh, business. Light. He's light as, as often. That is right. Uh, brother is late. You are late, sir. I am perfectly on time for when I wanted to arrive. Right, which makes you light by everyone else's standards. Mm, but my standards are the highest. Mm, no, they're not. Do you see what you're wearing? What you're wearing probably isn't even real. It's after eight, brother. We're not farmers. Wait, do you guys are farmers? No. No. That's why I'm dressed farmers. like this. You said they're not farmers. <laughs> Thanks, Holder. Yeah, no problem. I'm here to clear things up. <laughs> uh, we were just discussing Loki before you pompously walked in the door as a convicted felon that's wanted by multiple, uh, you know, mercenary groups. Hiding no in plain sight, deal. yes. Go um, on. Anyway, uh, where we would like to go for our next adventure excursion while we're waiting for the ship to be built. And Loki has Mage Hand come up and, and kind of stroke his his uh, face since he does not have a beard. And he thinks, well, if I recall, something was happening with the God of Death. Correct? Right. The Raven Correct. Queen has some weird shit going on where she is. Well, my thought is with how duke passed if if more people die we don't know where they go and that tells me that repairing death may be the most important so my vote is to go to the raven queen i don't know if it works that way it just goes directly to her go wherever we need to go i i just think that's the path we ought to take I mean, I can reach out again to one of my former travel mates and ask how does he contact her or if he's heard from her, actually. Or if he knows anything about what's going on here. Because if he has any insight and there's a capable adventurer doing something, that's better than uh, a fishing town being starving to death, which is creating more dead people. Not a great scenario as well. Yeah, I can ask where he is and potentially maybe he can help us. Um, is he, would he be down for uh, maybe being a potential ally in the possible war to come? Uh, I mean, I don't see why not. I I don't want to speak for him, though, because he tends to be rather impulsive sometimes. But, again, I don't, it never hurts to ask. I mean, this is the end of the world that we're talking about, right? Allegedly. Uh, maybe we wait to, to talk to him about that in person. Chiming in doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yeah. Okay, so are we saying that that's priority one? Unless there's someone already on the path? Uh, 
I mean, Alda also wanted to uh, check that out first. So if that is where we would like to go, then that's where we'll go. And Thoth can seem reunite like... with, a, with a friend. He's a friend, right? You don't, like, hate this guy? No, not at all. Like, he's good people. We haven't chatted in a while, but he's good people. I mean, he's the one that trained uh, Bure back there. Uh, but he was actually his squire when we first met. Back then he was kind of a douche, but, I mean, his heart's in the right place. He does everything with the right intentions. You'd love him. Two pieces of rod. Great. All I need, another douche to deal with. Alder. That's me. The douchiest douche. <laughs> Ivan's like, I was concerned there was going to be me. I don't know you like that yet, Ivan. So we'll get there. And Thor is just going to kind of sit. Uh, and stare through Loki for like two minutes and then he's going to realize he's doing it and just kind of uh, excuse himself. For the first 30 seconds, I don't think Loki would have caught it. No, just being caught up in, in the pageantry and, and the drinks and talking to, to everyone. Um, but for the remaining remaining 90 seconds, he would have caught on, looked around to see if there's something behind him, realized there's not, and then settle in. <laughs> He'll lean on the table and stare right back. Um, telekinesis, it's just moving things or also... It's just moving things. If okay. you were... Uh, the other one you're Telepath. thinking of is Telepathic. telepathy. That's right. <clears throat> okay. Um, he's not going to do anything to make a scene, but just stare right back at him with his his elbows on the table, letting his chin rest on his hands, not making any sort of facial uh, movement, but trying to size Thor up and just let him know that he knows that Thor knows that Loki knows that Thor knows <laughs> anybody know any good uh, knock knock jokes I've lived in a tree for the last like hundred years man I don't know shit they don't have doors they all, I mean, I guess technically every tree is a door if you think about it. Oh, wow. Every door is a tree. As Thor eventually just kind of shoves and moves and he goes, okay, so 20 questions. Uh, what am I, animal mineral? Um, wait, I, I'm confused as to who's asking the questions. So you ask me questions of what I am. Gotcha. Um. Uh, are you an animal or a mineral? I am a uh, mineral. Wait, hold on. Is mustard a mineral? <laughs> and then it's just like... <laughs> are you mustard? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh man, you are good at this game. I think we need another round. Yes, please. Another round for uh, me and my friends. Um, Loki, what are you doing as, as Thor kind of pushes off? You going to hang out with the 20 questions? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll hang out with 20 questions. Um, Loki would have still fixated on the knock-knock joke. Um, so as he watches Thor get up, he continues watching him as he goes all the way up the stairs, um, or at least until he gets out of sight. Mm -hmm. um, not, not angrily, just watching, you know? Okay. And um, so after, after the ease <laughs> mustard, a mineral, he, he says... Um, uh, knock knock who's there it's me can i come in yes welcome welcome to the shop what would you like to buy uh well what do you have and that just keeps going for a solid five minutes um or until someone stops him it's like oh well, that's a very lovely gesture i would love to come to your wedding do you have a best man i've been the best man many times and i throw a wonderful bachelor party would you like Loki. me to host it okay 
Loki. Loki. I was almost to the punchline. <laughs> Find it. <sighs> well, I have to skip a lot, but... Uh, and that's when I said, that's not a rock, that's my wife. But you don't get the context. Whatever, I'm... I'm just kidding, I'm fine. There was no joke, I'm fucking with you guys. Where's my drink? I would say during that time, your your drink would have came. Oh, yeah, okay. Did I tell you what your drink did yet? No, just that it was orcish. Like, oh, right, right, the, the orc drink. Um, let me pull it up. I didn't know what Tiburon's drink does too, the one with that... I told you, it, it does the dream thing. So he's no, currently just the, hanging. The oh, the angry bot. Tom doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's just really nice. Yeah, oh. it's just delicious. Mm -hmm. It's just a sweet treat. Oops. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is nice. Nice drink. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm looking for the... Uh, oh, it's the Skull Buster. Uh, go ahead, and when you drink it, uh, I need you to make a con save. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Uh, 21. 21. Okay. Uh, what it says is, for not orcs they must make a DC con save of 15 or pass out for 1d6 hours. Uh, what I will say is you have a very, really, really bad headache. Oh. Like a migraine. Already. How does that work? I have, um, that paladin thing. No disease. No disease. Okay. I didn't know if it counted as hangover. Hangover thought... is like poisoned. Okay. I but thought not, for like, a second being infected. I thought for a second you were going to reveal what's been wrong with Loki this entire time, and you're just going to be like, "I have dementia." <laughs> <laughs> dementia. Oh no! Just head starts to go. Oh no! How long is this for? Again. Old D six. D six. Oh fuck me! Six. How much? I knew it. Six hours. Oh no! Okay. Why did I get this? Oh, I mean, no. it had the cool name. It had like three X's on it. We thought it was porn. Oh, I thought it was going to be like... Uh, I guess this is a lot. Oh, no. I can't even... I thought you were a god. Oh, uh, yeah. Gods still get headaches. Especially when talking to idiots like you. You fucking mortals. If he has any left, I'm going to take a sip. Okay. Go ahead, and you can make a DC save as well for um, Constitution. Served fucking mortals? Idiots like me? Yeah, what is that they take personally? I just Same. met you. Though. I know. Plus four. I've known him for a while. It's a little much. You... It's crude, but... Tasty. Good. Uh, of course you'd think it was good. Oh, god damn. Okay, before I say anything rude about you fucking idiots. Oh, with your goddamn like pine cones and your stupid face. And uh, Tibbin, you're cool. Uh, Tibbin's like, all right. Uh, He's speaking, like, in tongues. He's speaking gibberish. Like, can't you just lesser him. restoration the hand? Yeah, the whole time he's speaking. Want. Does anyone speak Draconic? Oh, no. Okay, I'm speaking in Draconic then. The whole, like, not the whole time, but like, as soon as I get to Tiburon, you're cool. And then I just start rambling in Draconic. Like, I, just, I, just, I don't know how Draconic sounds, but that's what's coming out of my <laughs> mouth right now. And in, in my head, canonically, um, Draconic sounds like uh, feudal. Feudal Jap Japanese. <laughs> okay. So you hear feudal Japanese. There's a reason. I have reasons. Um, and, and you just, you hear, I, I don't even know what to make that sound like, but as you hear it's that. It's more guttural. Like, like that kind of breathy. Yeah, essentially. So you just hear a lot of breathy, like, and he, he gets up and just kind of like walks over to, um, to where the entrance was and as that's happening he starts to lose concentration on the disguise self mm -hmm. and, and the three-piece suit just kind of goes down and, and you see that he's got bare shoulders and a bare chest and a bare stomach and it pauses for a moment and everyone gets worried like is he is he naked but no 
he's got he's got his uh, his tidy whities on or the equivalent of tidy whities on and uh, you just see that dump truck of an ass walking up the stairs or walking away <laughs> and up toward the rooms um what what is weird is his underwear said wednesday but today is friday i think i think it's wednesday in asgard oh it? it must be <laughs> sorry go ahead loki um so loki will go upstairs go into the room find some parchment and quill and and write a quick note to um to thok and and say come get me when you retire and he'll just slide it under the door um that he knows is his because Thok took the best room from him <laughs> and he will go lay down and instantly pass out hoping that when he awakes his headache will be gone okay Thor what are you doing uh, up until <laughs> essentially hearing Loki just kind of fucking round, <laughs> scrounge about in his room um, I would say sitting and stewing okay uh and then at a certain point uh would reach out to heimdall or helm and just see if i can touch base with him and see how he's doing uh because i don't think he came with us to the island of storms helm yeah no. you you invited him to bring me as guardians though right which they weren't there when when you got there. Right. Um, so I would just try and touch base with him and see what his plan is currently. Where he is. Let me see. Okay. As you're kind of concentrating, there are like waves that kind of come in and out. And... Unfortunately, nothing really comes back to you, but you do have this open kind of bay window uh, and balcony. And as you're kind of concentrating and praying, you hear just like a click at the glass. I will turn and look at the glass. You open one eye and kind of staring back at you, very bemused, but excited that it can confirm it's you is you see one of your father's ravens. Oh, I will go over and open the window immediately. Okay. And I will say with this one, you're able to look at the scarring uh, and he does not have a missing eye and you know that this is Hugin. Uh, okay. So I will open the window and hold out my arm and just be like, Hugin, where, where have you been? And Hugin kind of looks at you and then thinks thoughtfully for a second and opens his mouth. And what comes out is familiar, though strained, as you hear. All right. This bear did what I thought it was going to do. Hey, bro. Just uh, reaching out. <clears throat> Oh, it's uncomfortable. Uh, don't know where I am. Uh, hoping you look good. Um, I hope. I mean, I hear you're not all there now. I heard about the arm. <clears throat> yeah, um, just kind of, if you can, <laughs> come get me soon. Yeah. <clears throat> And it kind of goes off. What was that? Talos. And it opens up its mouth again and it goes, Oh shit, I didn't say my name. Uh, fuck, shit. As the, the mouth closes back. Are you going to tell me where I'm going? You want to tell me how to get there? You want to, any additional information, Hugin, would be greatly appreciated in this moment. 
And Hugin kind of looks at you, kind of bops, like bounces to the edge of the balcony, and you kind of just see him trace with his beak. And go ahead and roll an intelligence check for me. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Woof. At least I didn't drink that, uh, whatever. Yeah, the dum dum juice? Was. Oh, you didn't yeah, drink it? Because then my, no, nope. my oh. intelligence would be a three. <laughs> I thought you uh, did. You're shitting yourself. Oh my god. Odin. Out of the cards. Exodia. Oh my god. That's literally the opposite of everything I wanted to happen. That is a natural one. Ooh. So Hugin looks like he is just making shapes with his beak. That is literally not helping me at all. And opens his mouth again. Just tell him it's Talos. Um, just tell him it's his brother. Um, yeah. No, I, I, I put that together, Hugin. I, I need to know where, where is Talos? And he starts doing what he was doing before. Yeah, no, that's not helping me. I need more information. Uh, anything. Slowly opens the beak. And uh, it's farther away this time. And you hear your brother kind of shoo him. And uh, you hear a gruff voice. Go... <sighs> Ah, the day I finally break you, Prince. And you just kind of hear Talos go, I mean, we've tried how many times? Let's see if you can uh, break me this time. Well, what do you want to play? 20 questions. You want to play uh, tic-tac-toe? I'm really good at that one. That's the sticks and the uh, the shapes, right? And it is soon followed by just agonizing screams. Do I recognize the, the other voice? Brother. No, you, the other voice. You do not. Hmm. And okay. you see Hugin slowly close his mouth as he kind of puts his head down. And I'll go, uh, I'll go over and I'll pet him, try and cheer him up. <sighs> Do you hear? And I'll re I'll rifle through. Uh, the drawer looking for parchment and some kind of something to write with and see if he can, what he was drawing with his beak, he could put on the paper and I'll take it to Ashford and see what he would say or, or Helm or I'll just try and get it down because I have no fucking idea what it is. Okay. So you, I will say you eventually find like an inkwell and parchment and you put it on the table and you convey this to, you can who eventually dips the tip of his beak in and he just starts like pecking and making dots on the paper. And as you're kind of watching him, we will move back over to the table uh, as what do you, what, what's the rest of the, the friend group doing? The new friend group. <laughs> the new friends. Um, <clears throat> you like fine, dancing. <laughs> um, Thor, if you could actually roll a D100 so we can know what's going to happen to Ivan, that would be great. Forty-four. Forty-four. It's my favorite number. Max okay. And, uh... Eventually, Ivan gets a few drinks in. You guys are drinking, shooting the shit. And Ivan goes, uh, I think uh, I'm eventually... Uh, I need to get to my things. Uh, I know that we were all going to reconvene, but, I mean, we are at the same tavern now. So uh, I bring things, I bring back, I uh, shake this off, and... Uh, yeah, we we reconvene for uh for breakfast. Yeah. Uh, those are certainly words. Yeah, we'll do that. Yes, there is, there are like two fresh ducks that have come in with that kind of brown sugar and onions. He just takes the two plates. He goes to go. 
I I'm gonna like yawn really big because Bog is tired and he also wants to read his book a little bit before going to bed. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna like look at Tibber and just be like, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night, but you you have fun." And Tibber goes, "Oh, it's having a nice stream." But yeah. now you just taste dirt in my mouth. <laughs> Ooh. Did I yeah, eat th soil? This drink tastes really pleasant. And I give him, like, the, another one of the tea. Oh, then I'm just going to look to, to Thok, and I'm just going to be like, didn't you tell us you had a friend named Dirt? And then walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> you got dirt in your mouth. Fuck! <laughs> and Tibran's like, I mean, he's cute, but he's a little young. Yeah, no, it's gross. Can I get a 27, please? <laughs> <laughs> did you, did we say what a 27 is? 27 no, I, I just, I, I rolled it a minute ago. Okay, 27 is demon's blood. Yeah. It's black with red right. spots in it. Hot, cool. Hot, cool. Do yeah, you want something do else? No, let's do it. Okay. I said uh, yes to the Cthulhu thing, and there's someone still trying to ask me about if I want to get a reverse mortgage in the back of my head, so <laughs> doing fine with it. We're here it's to like talk he to you about like your car's Selleck. extended warranty. I don't get it. This is your last chance before we close your file. Uh, <laughs> it's not, though. It's not. They're going to call you like 16 more times and say that it's the last time. Um... This is really the last time. Actually, I'm going to have you re-roll it. I don't think okay. the, the demon's blood is... Uh, if any other creature than a fiend, tiefling, or devil drinks this, they take 1d10 of necrotic. Uh, they may also make a dc10 con save or be poisoned by taking 1d4 poison damage for every hour. If Ooh, poisoned gotcha. roll is a 1d6, it's still going, uh, to determine how many hours the creature is affected, and the creature cannot heal while poisoned by the drink. If the creature Ooh. falls unconscious, the poison stops until the creature is awake, and the creature can still be stabilized. So it would just really fuck you up, and it's not fun. Gotcha. Boo. <coughs> In that case, number 92. Good. Let's see. Good year. I want it to be more Great of a vintage. fun time snack. Dragon's milk. Khaleesi. It is. Oh, it's nice. Okay. Oh, it's nice. So, brood in the secret enclave, known who mark their bottles with the rune of Othala, born of a mixing of ancient dwarven recipe with skill and flavor from members of all the civilized races. And it is even said the aid of a few dragons. This brew has a strong flavor of chocolatey grains, vanilla, bitter hops, and a myriad of spices appealing differently to each imbiber. It is most commonly found in Dwarven enclaves and elven kingdoms, but has been making headway in taverns of all civilized races. Through the limited supply, this is the leading to an overall price increase over time, making it even more popular among nobles as status symbols. So it is uh, 25 gold per pint. Trust me, the, the effects are nice. Uh, and then if you wanted uh, a keg, it is 310 platinum pieces, which Oof. is... Uh, and taverns tend to buy it at 250 platinum pieces per keg. So you get it. It's this nice, deep, rusty brown. It's almost blah, block, black with toffee colored bubbles and almost opaque when held to the light. And this dank brew instantly warms the drinker and produces a profound euphoria. This brew removes one level of exhaustion, as well as making the drinker immune to the ill effects of cold weather, the frightened condition, the poison condition, and damage for an hour after drinking. It also tends to make its drinker uh, foolhardy, as the euphoria and lack of fear associated with drinking it leads to some disregard of their own safety. This has led to bartenders being careful to whom they serve this amazing brew to. I mean, it almost sounds like a waste to drink it here. <laughs> Drink it in your room. <laughs> uh, could I get this in a to-go cup? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean we can uh, we can have one in your nightstand if you want to drink that one, and then we'll have a fresh one for you. No, 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 just uh, th just this one, uh, just the so one. But you can just um, take the cup. I mean, I saw your friend take oh, out two platters. 
That's right. Okay. I'll yeah. I'll go ahead and do that. Can I, I also just get? He was supposed to. I think he left. Could I also just get um, rather than using your fancy menu, if it's okay, could I? Could I also just get like a nice uh, like just a whiskey drink? Yeah. We also have vodka drinks. We have cider drinks. Uh, they're made in a tub. Uh, but yeah, you get Does it. Nice... Reminds you of the good times and of the bad times. Sometimes. Oh, Danny boy. Um, so eventually, uh, yes, you do get a nice whiskey, like neat drink as you're able to lock both of your things up and you're like, mm -hmm. cause you're in. Did so, you say immune to damage? Like period. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why it gives you the euphoria of being reckless. Right, and right, 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 right. Uh, like how being... much was a keg? <laughs> 310 platinum pieces. Start doing the calculation. Um, that's well, it's a time. like drinking when you're 19. You just think you're immune and like nothing. We're going to live forever. Yeah. You so, no, that's us. why um, I got that. Uh, I'm not drinking it now. Um, okay. I'm taking it upstairs and I'm going to rebottle it into something that I can seal. Uh, okay. So that way I can bring it with me for something else uh, for a time where I think I really need it. Um, okay. And, uh, the whiskey drinks for now, and then I'm just going to make myself a garbage plate from whatever's left of the foods. Hell yeah. And probably just start heading up to the room. It's going to be like a mountain melt, essentially. Yeah, uh, yeah. So you house. get more of those, like, uh, yeah. sweet brown sugar onions. You get a lot of more of those biscuits, uh, just roasted vegetables, potatoes, just everything that's, you know, it's a garbage plate. It's great. And then uh, I'm just going to kind of look around because as everyone's starting to go their own way, uh, Call time for tomorrow to start heading wherever's next. What do we think? It's literally just talking to Bryn there. What do you guys think? Um, what do you think? Like a nice noon? Or should we be earlier than noon? Like 11 or maybe a, tw a 10? 10. Let's say 10. All right. Seven. I'll say... Take your word for it, Thok. Are you cool with that, too? Ten? Totally cool uh, with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Um, do I notice if anyone else had their um, necklaces on? Yeah, everyone, I would assume, has their necklace on. It's going to be like, I don't know where you guys are going. All right, but have a good night. I'm going to get some rest. I say let's meet back up around 10. Tibrin thought that'd be a good idea, so I defer to him because I think he's nice. Good night. And that's just a little tipsy, and he's just complimentary for no reason. <laughs> Seeing that's how good. much Alder, I guess, liked the thought of the drink that he wanted to like save for later, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually order a cask of it okay and i'm gonna have it delivered to his room very good okay for a cask uh let's say we'll double it up so it'll be um you know what we'll make it a flat 75 for a cask just because oh, it wait. is this or are you talking about a like a? oh i was talking about like a barrel, barrel. 300 platinum oh whatever. yeah yeah okay so you want to get a barrel yeah oh, sorry the barrel. yes uh, it's a keg so yeah you would money. get 310 platinum pieces or the equivalent you can do the conversion for it 3100 gold yeah yeah so like, able to mark it, it down yeah it's all tank doc what you fucking invest in fruit loops and nobody tell nobody about it there was a lot of gold that i had that i did not spend like uh, all right can't wait till we have fruit loops. We're part of the and fruit loop empire. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them to put an oh not add subtract. Oops. <laughs> Maybe that's why I have so much money. Uh, <laughs> no, we got a lot of money, don't worry. You guys have a lot of money. I don't. That's why I'm yeah. just like I spent a lot and I still have almost oh, ten thousand gold. I'm I'm not there, oh, but geez. I'm not too far from you. Um, I literally, I have 300 gold, like, like two, about 250 gold, because I didn't win any of the tournaments or anything like that. So I got, I got nothing out of any of that stuff. Thanks, Loki. Well, you're getting a keg of this, or uh, a barrel of this shit. 
<laughs> yeah, which means um, we're going to have to find a way to get that uh, to the Isle of Storms. If only oh, we had telekinesis. Uh, if only I had a ship. I don't think telekinesis hours. would get it that far. Um, Throw it. Yeah. Yeah. Although I am going to use the telekinesis Catapult. to help me carry my garbage plate, my whiskey, and my... Uh, um, <laughs> Thing up, up there, so my to go cup, my sippy. Um, it takes you like a little bit, but everything kind of like shakes and wobbles, but everything's hold, staying stable. I'm focusing mostly on, on, on the mug because that I spent good money on. So. Precious cargo. Seeing yeah. them like play what with is it called again so I can add it to my inventory? Dragon's milk. Dragon's milk. Um, is that something that's actually like in inventory or is it a home? Break? It's not. I will give it to you. I'll I'll have to make like a little thing for it. I'll put it in as a note. And so I'll just add it to it right now. Um, awesome drink. Cool effects. Super cool um, drink. One pint plus one keg. Don't like the drink. How much is in a keg? Or not a barrel? Oh, it's a keg. It's a keg divided by twenty-five. Let's see, is how many fair? pints in a keg? It is 124 pints. Oh, shit. Boys, we still stock it up before every battle. <laughs> Everyone's getting fucked up. We're going to be so dependent Wait, on it that after we run out. That... We'll like... Wouldn't that give us disadvantage if we were drunk? Can't be hurt. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> we're have invincible. To hurt the other person within an hour. Got to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, a whole hour. Each round is six seconds. <laughs> I'm just I, saying. I, you, you can't you can't fight it, man. You know. Uz, I drew it up to this. That's six hundred right rounds. Here. I fucking dare you. Tim, feel it. Did you standing, call your mom? Still standing. Next time, tell your mother if she's gonna hit me to bring a heavier purse. <laughs> Sir, this is an Arby's. Please stop. Do yeah, you want a beef and I, cheddar or not? Two. <laughs> <laughs> and the potato cakes they're underrated uh okay so as you're going up uh thok you do eventually get a little piece of parchment that says uh to head by loki's room hopefully for a sexual encounter we don't know yet uh, i start heading towards loki's room and then i'm like i wonder what the telekinesis if i can do this and i like start picturing myself like flying towards Loki's room and using telekinesis to move myself or uh, attempting to or do I just go splat go ahead and make an intelligence check for me real quick oh that's not great oh that's not great <laughs> intelligence minus one four okay take a minute you feel your feet off the ground and you hear a cracking of like splintering of wood and your head hurts and you kind of look up, and your head is just completely into the ceiling. Oh, shit. Well, like, and Tipper goes, uh, honey, you just kind of shut up like a rocket. <laughs> That's not the first time you've said that. Um, <laughs> I, like, come back down, and I'll use like, bending. Do, 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 do. Like, sit before I come back down. You're like, mm -hmm. and it's, you're just covered in, like, fucking dust and <laughs> insulation. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell Tipper, and I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. I have You're to like, go visit Loki real quick. So, uh, eventually you tap onto Loki's door. Loki, I will say it's about two hours into your six. As you're, you kind of wake up and you hear a very light tapping at your door, but it sounds like he's banging. Ah, uh, it's not better. Ah, uh, come better. in. And you see Loki in the fetal position in a ball of sheets just by the bed. Not in the bed, by the bed. And he's continuously... You know when a dog dreams and they kick? <laughs> and sometimes they get traction on the ground and they start to spin? That. that in a circle? Yeah, so it's just... Uh, and just I'm, I'm all bundled up in the sheets. That's what I'm imagining that Homer Simpson meme when he's like going around. Yeah. Okay, um, I would ask if you're okay, but that kind of is a redundant question. Oh, yeah. Can you fix this, please? I would, but that will 
the ply deprive us of valuable resources. What resources? You're about to sleep. Yeah, you are too, but it, it, I can create a restoration you, but that'll be a hundred gold worth of diamond dust. Ah, but I'm worth it. I'm so worth it. He's gonna... You know what? Uh, this headache would be worth it. I don't even don't know. see it yet. Oh my god, you're the worst. Okay. So, Maybe this is a spark of inspiration that you need. It's not a spark, it's a goddamn explosion. I okay. Even better. Inspiration. Okay, you're talking really loud. If you can go from the 11 you're at and go to like a 2, that'd be great. So, oh, like real quick, four. out of game. Did did I already, did Loki already talk to Thok about the heist? You guys did. Oh, lost Justin. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the world will never know. Can you hear me? You're a robot. Okay, well, Carlos, do you remember if, if I talked to you about it? I don't remember at all, to be honest with you. <laughs> you touched on it slightly, I believe. Still I think, like, we, we hinted to each other and we kind of gave each other a look. Like, oh, we're getting this. Okay. Like, I know that we're both agreeants that I'm going to help you with this. Okay, cool. But we never went into detail. Okay, so still holding his head. He'll, he'll kind of telekinesis himself up to be sitting instead and say, okay, so the heist, um, it's got to happen tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow. What time are we leaving? Leaving at 10. 10? 10. And, and Loki for a second, <laughs> for a second has no headache. 10? <laughs> oh, God, that's way too early. Uh, can't we do like a nice leisurely two- we can have a nice breakfast and just... They all Justin agree says you to... did talk about it in the bathroom. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, we were peeing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, my God, 10. I don't want to get up that early. Are the stores even open that early? Uh, okay. I mean, it, it just opened. Okay, how about this? How about... Let me fix Justin's face. There we go. Now we've got a Justin Words back. Words you only hear online. So, okay. How about this? How about, how about at, at the morning food, you tell um, the people that were with that there's a thing that um, you have to do because you're an orc or something. And uh, we can't leave until after the sun is all the way up, up in the blue, and then, and then after it's it starts going down from the blue, then we can go. So we're gonna spend an an additional night. No, 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 no. We got we we have to leave. We have to leave before the sun says good night. And, uh, um. But but after the sun says hello, <laughs> you yeah, fucking hell. So you know the sun's uh, like long... up here, and then it's about here, but not here. Like here's when yeah. I want to leave. <laughs> oh. Okay. So how about this? You're obviously not feeling great. How about we can't leave at ten because you're not feeling well. We're gonna we're gonna give you time to recover feel better i'm gonna go out and find you herbs potions something to help with the hangover that you may or may not probably may have tomorrow and during that time we go okay yeah oh fuck okay yeah that's a good idea um will you be okay oh god i don't know at this point and and uh, as he says that, he reaches into his his pocket and pulls out a small slip of parchment that he'd wrote written before, and hands it to Thok and say, "Here's the plan, just read it." And then he uses telekinesis to like float it over to him, because I imagine Thok's still by the door. Sure. So, whoop, 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 uh, yeah, no, whoop, whoop. like this. If, if you're up for it. Do you think you can do this? Oh, uh, I will do it. I can tell you that. All 
right. It got one shot, one opportunity to seize everything I've ever wanted. At least everything I've ever wanted in the past 24 hours. <laughs> okay, now get the fuck out of my room. All right. Have a great day. Okay. As I use Thaumat I walk out and I use Thaumaturgy to slam the door shut. Uh -huh. You bitch! <laughs> <laughs> No, he's no, still a robot. Oh, try, oh, I, I was, <laughs> I was hoping that it'd be like figured itself out. Do I have like? Can I cast sleep on myself or something? Can I catapult my brain out of my I skull? Really you, see. you have like little like towel over your head, just like rinsing like <laughs> cold water on your forehead. Oh, what if I cast suggestion on myself and suggest that I get rid of the headache? Not with the ring that you're wearing. I'll take it off. <laughs> um, Justin says, just give me a hot mo. Okay. I'm right here. <laughs> you're not mo. <laughs> I'm Larry. Um, so I'm Shemp. <clears throat> I would uh, be right. Uh, he says, all right. Dot, dot, dot. Um, <clears throat> I would also, um, assuming Hugin leaves at some point, want to go into Alder's room before, like when I would hear him close the door. So, knock, knock, knock. Obviously, I'll let you in. Um, probably, I, I found that robe uh, that your friend <laughs> was talking about. And I'm just like, really form-fitted, like, welcome to my establishment oh you um no it's not it's just like the room you're you're quite fit, fit you know i was kind of on it not not that i didn't think you were fit before but you know we don't get to see each other like this a whole lot so i mean props props to you man you work on your body and it, it shows thank you i really needed that <laughs> Don't we all, every once in a while? Um, there's been um, a major development, and you, you're looking at Thor, and he's kind of, um, I guess, like, jittery, and his eyes are kind of moving. I need to uh, confide in you, but I need to keep this from Loki for now, uh, because I'm not sure... I'm not sure what he's going to do, but he's going to do something stupid, and I don't know how much I can trust him yet. This is just when you've been with someone for thousands of years and gotten to know them for thousands of years, you get to know them as a person and something stupid is going to happen at some point in time. And I just need to have this ready for when he does something stupid. So I'm going to swear you to secrecy for the time being. And he puts his pinky out towards you. And I'll just touch it with my... I'll, I'll point a finger and I'll just tap. Is this... I don't... Pinky out. Hooks it. The pinky swear. Everything's uh, safe here. And then I kiss my hand. I'm not going to do that part. I'm just letting you know it's safe. It's in here. What's, what's going right. on? Uh, you remember this Munin? sounds bad. Yeah, of course. Paul. Right. Yeah, Munin. Uh, he's got... There's there's another one, and his name's Hugin. And... So wait, he's, there's Munin and Hugin. Yeah, uh, Odin named them. Uh, my father, not me, so... Odin, Munin, Hugin. How did you guys end up being Thor and Loki? Well, Loki's adopted, so... His name kind of came with him. It wasn't just, you know what? Never mind. We're getting off topic. So, Sorry. yeah. <laughs> um, he's in my room and he just kind of, you know, Munin could talk. Yeah. Hugin's not as good at that, uh, but he can deliver messages. And he just gave me one from Talos. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, and I'm going to pull out the piece of parchment that he kind of was packing on and show it to you and be like, 
this is he tried to like trace in the air where he was where we could get talos and i couldn't figure it out so i have no fucking clue but he's alive and he's there so uh it's littered with with marks and slashes says the dm <laughs> DM, if I were to roll any kind of check, would I, it be anything that I could recognize? I'm going to go with a no. Yes. Yeah, no, he, he told me to roll a nature check. Oh, fuck. Uh, it's cooked. Is he just Sorry. text DMing right now? Yeah. Yes, he is, which I'm very proud of him for. Uh, so that's a three. It did not go well. So you're going to do about as good as me. No, it does doesn't look familiar um i figured I, we could give it to ashford i mean he might be able to help i can if you give me some more time with it i might be able to take a better look tomorrow when i've had a little bit less alcohol in my system um i'm still here right now it's just i'm not i, I feel like this is right. something that's hard to grasp at the moment I, but I get it it's what, what do you think's going on? He's being tortured. That came across in the message. I didn't recognize the voice. So that's not great. But I know he's out there. I know he's alive. And I just... Our next step is going to be towards one of these bad things, but... Uh, there's a lot there's a lot to do in a very short period of time so first off very sorry about your brother I think we definitely are going to have to try and make that a priority obviously to get him out of whatever kind of captivity he's in hearing that though I think that puts a further emphasis on figuring out this Raven Queen situation. We need to find because... Ares. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. He mentioned hearing about my arm. He said, I heard you're not whole. I heard about the arm. But I hope you're looking all right, because he's a son of a bitch. But... Ares has to at least have an idea. So that's where I want to go. And I don't know where that is, but I doubt he's going to be hard to find. He's a big son of a bitch, so. That's, well, the only reason why I say the route of the Raven Queen is it seems like, I mean, you're a god. Loki's a god. Talos is a god. If the Raven Queen's being interfered with, they're a god. If they're not coming directly for you because of the fact that you know that you guys are rolling together, they might not feel that they can defeat you or capture you or take you because you're together. But if the Raven Queen is separated from something else and she's on her own, they might be looking at that as something that they can kind of go after, which means we could catch them with their pants down. They might not be expecting us. We could try and make a big impact yeah i just worry about running into the skeletal undead whale version of fuckface we almost beat him last time but i we can't bank on that happening again he's going to be stronger now than he was before i mean you know we're stronger now than we were before well, some of us are stronger now than we were before. And I'm going to kind of like look at my arm or lack uh, thereof. You're going to be fine. We'll figure something out with the arm. I can promise you that. But you are still stronger with one arm than everyone that I've ever met in my entire life. I'm going to be all right. But we, as a group, 
really got to just... We got to get on this. It's got to be quick. Otherwise, seeing what's been done to us in short periods of time, seeing what happened to Duke, I don't want to know what's happening to Talos. I just want to make sure that we can get him out of whatever's going on. We need to leave as soon as we can tomorrow. 10 o'clock. It's got to be. We yeah. can't waste any more time. No, that's right. Well, I'm going to go. Uh, Hunan is still in my room uh, on the balcony. So I'm going to go take care of that. I've got a giant fucking dog-sized raven just kind of hanging out or crow hanging out on my balcony. So should probably get him inside before someone freaks out. It's probably a good call. All right. Good night, night, Yeah. And then I'll just walk back into my room and kind of just stare at Hunin for an extended period of time. And I'm going to uh, take myself, uh, give myself a bath and clean myself up before I go to bed. Oh, double bath day. I didn't take a bath yet. I thought you took one before we went downstairs. Nope. I just got changed. Oh. Well, it could have been a double bath day, but you just decided not to do it. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. 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 I've been here for a while. I've just been listening. The kid's back. I kept checking my phone. I was like, is he okay? So, uh, essentially, yeah, Hunan is still there. He's just kind of lounging and just very quiet. Um, the night is very quiet. And uh, <laughs> Thor, go ahead and make a perception check as you're looking out on the balcony with uh, Hunan. Uh, 19. 19. So <clears throat> as you're kind of looking and the night is starting to kind of grow dim, you see that there is currently a fruit stand, like a fruit cart, and you see rumbling and shambling through the streets very drunkenly is Ivan. And eventually he starts having an argument with the fruit cart, and eventually he starts punching it until it's nothing but splinters. Uh, can I do something else as well? Yeah, what would you like to do? I would like to fly to the uh, church Walmart district Yeah, that we had described in the last episode, and I want to look for a, I'm sure it would be small, but like a shrine even of Thor. Okay. Um, Let me see here. I would say there's probably a Nordic kind of sect so there is obviously a very big shrine to your father. And I would say that there are three smaller kind of like urn or candles for um, the three brothers. Okay. So what I would do is I would, how many people would you say are in this area now? Um, I mean, it's pretty late at night. So there is a, I would say, um, just kind of like littered around. It's not heavily populated, but you have those people who are very into like nightly prayer as opposed to like morning prayer. Mm -hmm. So I would say it's not like heavily populated, but there's, you know, there are people around. I would try and keep my face covered as much as I could. Uh, and I would just kind of go, uh, kneel near uh, the people occasionally, uh, mm -hmm. and just kind of initiate slight conversation after a few moments of prayer and just try and I don't want to say like get followers but just kind of push them to um, like pray to Thor and mm -hmm. um, whether they, they would do that or not I would uh, give a hundred gold to each person that did it just because that's the extent of my ability at the moment right Okay, um, go ahead and roll a persuasion check. Oh, that's good. Uh, I rolled a natural 18. My persuasion's a plus 8, so 26. Perfect. 
So I would say, obviously, no one just abandons their god. No one's right. like, ah! <laughs> but um, they do hear your plight. They hear what Thor has done for you and your family, and you make a very persuasive argument or conversation in point that, yeah, there are people who, without the prompt of the, the hundred gold, they do say a silent prayer to Thor, thanking them for your safe patch passage, your uh, family's safe passage, and passage of their own. And I'll, whatever gold I don't, uh, that people don't take, I will leave just out. Um, yeah. So I'm going to just like, how much should I just ding myself? Like 600, 700, 800? Yeah. Just do like 600. It's like okay. 20K. I don't have that <laughs> much. Not anymore. How much you love them? Uh, yeah. So that's, that's what I would have done. And then I would go back, um, and just kind of enjoy being around Union and try and take solace in the fact that Talos is alive, but also freak out internally until I fell asleep. Okay. Union is very comforting. He is different from uh, Munin in the fact that he's a little bit more stoic, a little bit more quiet, uh, more affectionate, I would say. Like he enjoys when you stroke like his breast fe feathers and under his chin. And he's just a very pleasant bird as opposed to Munin was more like, this is your father's bird. You're, <laughs> you know, he's always following your father. And right. Hunan just kind of does his, um, anything anyone else wants to do for the evening before we get to the clusterfuck that is the morning. Uh, I would also like to just have a gentle thunderstorm, uh, and rain to go to sleep. Okay. And you're able to do so. I'm a bug. <laughs> Everyone's just very comfortable, and everyone gains the benefit of a full night's sleep, including Loki. You do no, you no longer have your six hours of splitting headache. Gang, gang. So, I will say around like 8 a.m., 9 a.m. rolls of by. What are you guys doing? Start with. The man with the plan, Loki. Um, Loki, remembering Thok's plan, would not get out of bed. He would continue to pretend he has the headache. Um, while it's not as splitting, it is still present, and his body is a bit weaker, at least in his facade. So he's just laying there. He might, well, it depends. Does he smell any food? Yes, there are smells of uh, eggs, meat, pancakes, just delicious breakfast food coming from downstairs. Okay, if, well, it all depends. If 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 they're all down there, he'd go put on a show. Otherwise, he's just going to lay, he's just going to lay in bed. He's just going to lay in bed. Nice lazy day. Yeah. Okay, Be I will hop over then. Yes, go ahead. He will be prepared if anyone opens the door to turn it on. And otherwise, he's just kind of laying there planning the day. Got it. Okay. Alder, we'll hop over to you. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, honestly, I'm just going to... About how... What, where are we in town compared to where my parents are at? Um, I will say that you are, I mean, a few miles. Um, you're more towards the east of town, and your uh, parents are more northern west. Uh, what I will say is when you open your door, you see a massive keg of that ale that you, of dragon's milk that you had ordered. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, I really hope they didn't put this on my father's tab. Um, oh, I'll just kind of go ahead and pull it into the room before anyone can realize that it's there. Yeah. Um, you and, uh, kind of like waffle it in. Yeah, anyone who's ever tried to carry a keg by themselves when it's full understands exactly what I'm trying to do. It's not fun um, until you have the keg, and then it's fun. Uh, <laughs> but um, no, I'll pull it into the room and then... Um, only thing that I think I'm going to do is just knowing that 
we're on kind of a time crunch and I didn't get to see my folks this time. I'm just going to uh, just write a letter uh, to them just saying that, you know, hey, we're going to be in and out of town. So you guys will probably see me a little bit more um, in that I, I really love them and appreciate all their assistance. And um, next time I'm back, uh, I'll you, you've met Thok and Tibrin. You have to meet the whole crew. Um, and uh, that I love them and so on and so forth. And I'll just bring that down to see if they can go ahead and deliver it to my parents' residence. Gotcha. Okay. And yeah, you're able to find a, like a messaging boy and he's able to get it over to your parents. Um, I will say you're the first down for breakfast. Um, and eventually you, you see the table you were at before and sitting there face down is Ivan. His knuckles are just bloodied and he's currently snoring with his face down on the table i mean that's that's how we all want to go out right (laughs) (laughs) i'll just uh hey uh ivan you good uh and you see him and he kind of perks up half away and goes Yes, yes, uh, we said for 10, so I kind of, uh, I came down, down here, um, I changed later because I am uh, all the bacon, bacon and egg that they have here at this establishment. So, uh, I think, I think it's not working. Yeah. Uh, there was a huge was, gap. I can't hear it either. Yeah, there was a huge gap and then bacon and eggs, which I assume is Sorry. a Ron Swanson myth. It, it, is, it, it wasn't by my uh, my mouth. I had it on a, a little phone stand. Is this better? Yeah. Yes. We'll see if you're a robot again. I hope not because I'm on cell phone uh, wireless, not on my Wi-Fi. Okay. So yeah, no, he's just a, a little bleary-eyed. He said that um, you told him to come at around, you know, 11, so, or sorry, 10. So he is there early to make sure he made the uh, the breakfast date. All right, well, you know what, yeah, so get some food in your system or something. You probably, you look like you need it. Yeah, I- I I fought a fruit cart. <laughs> you fought a what? A fruit like it's a it would it was cart. It was made out of wood and like spools and shit, and it was like full of apples. And I think it said something derogatory towards my mother. So of course I can't tell fruit cart saying derogatory things towards mother. So I beat the shit out of fruit cart. Just don't when we go outside, just don't like make scene. Like be cool about it. Oh, I will be cool about the destroyed fruit cart. Yeah, don't so, say it so loud, man. I'll be cool about the destroyed fruit cart. Ah, it's it like, shit. Was it like a specific type of fruit that offended you more than other fruit? No, I actually broke like four more before I got there. <laughs> oh, dear Christ. All right, yeah. Um, We could... Uh, Get some breakfast and um, it's got Fruit Loops. Yeah, they have like Fruit Loops. <laughs> You're yeah, like, they oh, have fucking Fruit Loops. Fruit tubes. They're like inner tubes, but made out of fruit. Oh no, Sick. these are the ones that come in the bag that don't taste exactly the same, but like they're close, but not exactly the same. Hey, those are good. We don't knock those here. <laughs> Fruity Loops. Oh, what was it? Malta meal? What is it? Malta meal. Yeah, shut up. They're good. <laughs> um, so while you're eating your your fr- fruit lops, um, <laughs> Thok, uh, what are you doing? I am going to be coming back in from outside mm-hmm. from doing like my quote unquote like meditation, praying, yeah. spell or stuff, and. Uh, I'm assuming because it was like right when daylight came that I would mm-hmm. theoretically be the first one up. 
You would, technically. I would say that you had a balcony as well that you were able to kind of go out and pray on as opposed to, like, going downstairs, leaving, going to the woods, unless you wanted to do that. I I wanted to go down to the main area to see if there was, like, any, like, bucket anybody threw up in or, like, dirty rags where, like, they had to clean up, like, from, like, a rager. Gotcha. Yes. Go ahead and roll an investigation as you kind of, like, leave the tavern. You do see that there are several fruit carts that are just broken. Investigation. Ooh. Not bad. 19 minus 1. 18. So, I'll say after a bit, you do find some uh, some vomit. Uh, I would say in, like, a mop. And it's kind of in the street. Like, there's vomit and there's water on it and essentially, like, cat litter that they're trying to get rid of. Uh, and it is in one of the alleyways by the tavern, but you can locate some stomach stuff. And from out here, would I be able to tell which one Loki's window is? Uh, go ahead and roll another investigation check for me. Not as great. Ten. Ugh, you are unsure. <laughs> you think you have an idea. Okay. Well, it's since a, I have also an a idea... four-story throw, my guy. I know. <laughs> so I'm well, gonna... Telekinesis. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's what I was going to do. I was going to use telekinesis to send it up to your room, but I don't know which one it is. Um, so I'm going to actually take the mop and the mop it in blood. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. The, the mop and bucket. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to, like, sneak it upstairs before anybody wakes up. And I'm going <laughs> to go towards Loki's room and kind of, like, tap, tap, tap and leave the mop and bucket outside kind of like leaning against the door. Do like a stealth check, but it doesn't, excuse me, have to be a disadvantage unless you're carrying your armor with you. No, I don't. I don't have my armor on me. Yeah. 15? 15. uh, What's everyone's passive perceptions? 11. Uh, My passive is... 11. 1,000. 20. Oh, I figured this was before they woke up, though. It is, but it can wake them up. (laughs) Oh, hi. He's back. Oh, my phone. Hey. I reset the router. Hey, Dad. Uh, I was making myself some tea. I hope you back. I hope you boys have been good. Yeah. Oh, boy. (laughs) Uh, My passion is 20. We play with the nail gun. (laughs) <laughs> Nail gun. Nail gun. Don't go downstairs. <laughs> uh oh. Um, what was your role, uh, Carlos? Eighteen. Fifteen. 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 So uh, Alder would be the only one who would hear you jangling and going about. So you would hear some scrounging outside of Loki's room. Oh, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, and then like. I actually can I use telekinesis to unlock his door? Sure. So I'll do that, let myself in, but leave like the mop and a bucket outside with all okay. the vomit. And Gross. go to Loki after I close the door and be like, Psst, wake up, wake up. Uh, oh, hello, Thok. Hey. So, are we good with the plan? What plan? The plan of you're so sick that we can't leave yet. I oh. got some vomit. I got a bucket. I got a mop. And I left it outside so that if and when they check on you, I'm just going to, like, tell them that I've been cleaning up all your vomit that you've been, like, throwing up everywhere. Oh, and, and with that, Loki sits up. Yeah, great plan. Um, Should I, wish, I like throw I wish, some in here? Like, well, yes, about that. I wish you would have said something, because and and Loki looks over to the side and then just kind of points. He's like, I've I've got a I got a bucket of my own vomit, <laughs> and I made it for you. Uh, oh, how homemade. So- 
Thoughtful. So now we've got two buckets, and I'm afraid that might be a bit too grandiose. Over, over the top. Yes. Um. So, I'll I'll go and I'll, I'll grab like the stuff that I left outside, and I'll compare it. Which one looks like he's sicker? The one that I grabbed, or the one that he he threw out? Well, like, which one uh, more ch- I will say that he that his room immediately smells like vomit. Um, <laughs> Perfect. Then, one on the right track. Loki. As far as what's chunkier, go ahead. I've got uh, Loki starts to critique both of them as if they're pieces of art, and he's a, a high class critic. I like the way that the chunks in this one truly bring out the swampy bile color, but this one does have hints of black, which hints of a deeper disease. Hmm. It does have a certain Jenny Say Quan in it. You know yeah. <laughs> Jenny Saint Quan. It's Catholic. You, you decide. Um, let's use mine. I love yours. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> great choice. Amazing artist, I guess. And I'll go to the balcony and I'll like just use telekinesis to yeet it away as far away from this damn city as possible. I was gonna do exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> now, just to backtrack a little bit, because Alder did hear Bach first. Uh, scrounging around outside of Loki's room. Uh, Alder, when you kind of like look outside, you see a mop bucket, a mop, and it's outside of Loki's door. As you hear, there is talking inside of Loki's room. I'm just kind of confused. I'm going to kind of like peer over at what's going on. Um, Mm -hmm. Just kind of befuddled. Um, but then when I see Doc reach his arm out and pull the bucket in, I'm going to go to the door and give, uh, <laughs> is it still open or is it no, like I closed? closed it me. Yeah, he closed uh, and, it and it's around this time that your guys are like talking about the vomit. You can kind of hear them talking about vomit <laughs> and you hear like a, like, doors opening to the balcony <laughs> and it's yeah, just like I'm, a roll and hardy bit that's going I'm on just, I'm just I'm knocking on the door and uh hey he's gonna knock on the door and I'm like got some distance there to like do a double anyway though pretending that it was like Loki's vomit that got distance and, and go ahead go for it no no, no, no finish that no that was it oh so hearing that and picking up what's going on he'd go and and it would cast minor illusion to create the sound because the door's not open, right? Right. So, and um, kick over the bucket so it's actually on the floor and quickly slink back into the bed. Okay. I'm going to use telekinesis to like do a, uh, it more. <laughs> Gross. Do a performance check at advantage. Yeah, with assistance. Performance, performance, okay. Uh, modded 20. Okay. I mean, you hear throwing up behind there, and you hear Loki not feeling so great as the door is still closed. Still knocking. Uh, I'll go to the door. And open. Hey! hey. Or it's like a crack. Yeah, just like a little bit. Hey. How's how's it how's it going? Uh, I don't know if it's something we ate or what, but what? it's not pretty in there. I mean, you sounded fine talking a second ago, and now I'm kind of hearing. Obviously, Loki looks pretty sick. Um, it, it like comes and goes. Seasickness is the exact same way. Like apparently gotcha. he hasn't stopped. Like it stops, and then I heard him at like four a.m. And then I had to do like my prayers in the balcony. Like it was a mess because I'd be keeping an eye on him just to make sure that he's not like you know dehydrated or something. I don't know what he did or what he got into, but he is gotcha. not doing. 
Gotcha. Um, question, DM. Um, uh, as I'm kind of like looking around the room as uh, Thok is kind of explaining what's going on to me a little bit, um, is, is the bucket of puke that's knocked over, um, is it the same bucket that I saw pulled into the room? That is a good question. I think that's the Loki bucket, correct? Yeah, it's the bu- it's the real vomit bucket. Yeah. I'm also like blocking like the whole like trying not to let you in the room, like blocking the entryway from you with my body, and I am six foot ten. I'm aware of that, and I'm also very very wiry, so I can't... <laughs> you see, I, mean, I got draft neck. <laughs> He's yeah, at uh, thinking, oh, oh, he's bacon. You don't want to come in here. No, no, it's just... Oh. Go ahead, and you do a performance check there, Thok. Disadvantage, because we <laughs> Oh, that Having was... him do a performance is disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a tease. It's like right under perception, and I thought I had a plus 10 for a second. That was Thok. Uh, 16. He's pretty passable. You think there is something wrong with Loki? I mean, there's so much wrong with Loki. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm not lying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the guy's head feels like it's been bashed in and we're trying to figure out what happened. Um, but, you, I don't know. You being weird? I'm sure he's going to be fine. we got to start getting ready to go. Oh, he can't move like this in this condition. Like, we have to wait until, like, it blows over. Like, I think maybe, like, the afternoon he'd be better. But, like, rest is what he needs right now. Fuck. Ginger. Alter. With all due respect, trust me, we do not have time for that. And then I'm just going to walk away. We don't have time for our friend to get better? I thought, who was the cleric here? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. In that case... Can you go ahead and cast restoration on him and fix it up real quick because he's just drunk? I don't have it prepared today. Which is not a lie. I don't have it prepared today. <laughs> yeah, but um, I, I really will call bullshit on that. And <laughs> well, uh, well, not preparing the spell? You, uh, look, I mean, you, you heard him vomiting. I don't know. You kind of, you, you, you're losing me on this one, man. Um, Get him ship shape. We have to get ready to go. I will do my okay. best, but I, there's no way I can get him ship shape by ten. I'll give you what? like three or four at most. Ten, and then I'm walking away. Okay, Alda, where are you going? You going to the table with Ivan, or that's yeah, that's where. I, I, actually, before I go to the table, I'm gonna go uh, knock on Thor's room. Figured, Thor. You are woken by a gentle rapping at your door. Uh, is Hugin still there? Yeah, he's there. Uh, I'll he's be like, like his feathers while you're sleeping. Okay, I'll be like, hide. Just get out of sight real quick. Um, and I'll walk over to the door and I'll like crack it. Mm-hmm. Oh, older. Okay, and I'll open the door. Alder, hey. as you go in, they, you see a very large raven tail sticking out of the bottom of Thor's bed, followed by two like little turkey legs. <laughs> you hide so bad. You're not a good hider. Kind of comes out and he's like, Burr. I love you though. It's fine. <laughs> and then I'll just be like, nice, n- nice to meet you, Hugh. And, um, uh, just going to go get some breakfast. But uh, Loki is sick, and our cleric says he cannot heal him, and they cannot leave until three or four instead of ten, which is like in an hour and a half. I'm not 100% on it. Just want you to know. Um, I saw something questionable that I'm confused by, so I'll leave it at that. All right. Um, I don't know what they're up to, but it seems like they don't want to leave yet. Uh, I didn't give Doc any indication of what's going on, but he's like, we need more time. I was like, you don't have it. 
get him ready to go by 10. So, because this is getting, with what you told me last night, obviously I'm in better mind right now. With what you told me last night, it's time to cut the bullshit. We, yeah, we need, we need to go. We got to move. Yeah. Okay, I'll go and uh, see what I can find out. Good luck, because <coughs> Falk definitely was not acting like himself. He seemed like he was being secretive. He, like, kind of didn't want to let me into the room. And he pulled, like, a bucket and a mop in the room, and it smelled kind of funny. But then, like, when I went in the room, there you was a different... You just saw it. You didn't smell it. You weren't that close. I'm in the room next to his. It's a bucket full of puke. <laughs> DM, did I smell a little bit of puke? That could have been coming from the room. You're in the room next to me. You could smell a waft of puke when you're at the door. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you would. He may not have been able to tell which bucket it was coming from, like but puke there was puke. Puke. puke there was puke. definitely. You were definitely hit with puke when he opened that door, baby. Puke is real, <laughs> baby. Baby. So again, yeah. Smelled puke, but when I went into the room, it looked like it wasn't the same bucket and there was puke everywhere so i don't know what's going on but i don't know if there was a cleanup bucket and then a not cleanup bucket or if there's just like no bucket at all or if i imagine the bucket or if he's illusioning the bucket something's going on don't know what it is but you know your brother better than i do and um, um i did my best to try and be stern with thok i don't know how well it worked but i'm trying it out um so you might want to go check on him i'm gonna go get some breakfast Maybe see if Ivan's back. Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll go look, and I'll start to uh, just get dressed. I'll put on my my half plate, uh, knowing full well I can't like get the um, can't get the back. So I'll get mm -hmm. dressed as best I can. Throw on my adamantine, uh, my chest plate. And then I will uh, tell Hugin, circle, go outside and just kind of circle the perimeter. Uh, keep an eye on us, and I'll let you know, um, or I'll signal you. You'll know what the signal is when you see it, uh, when it's a good time. Okay. And he looks at you kind of curiously, and you open the balcony, and he goes off. So I'll pick Mjolnir up off the the uh, hanger. Is the hanger worthy? Hmm. Question. And I'll go uh, to Loki's room and I'll knock on the door with with the hammer because you know one arm, uh, no. and just wait. <coughs> I'll open the door. Hey, Thor. Hi, Thok. Uh, two things. First thing. Can you help a brother out? And I'll kind of turn and like gesture towards my back so he can like tie me up. Yeah. I'll go and tie him up. Thank you. Can't, you know, things are different now, so I can't do that myself. Which, uh, what are we going to do about that? I've got an idea. Um, it's just kind of floating in my head. Uh, I want to see if maybe. I can get one made when we go to not this place, but the other place. Oh. Just, a, idea. just a thought, you know, uh, what's the worst thing he's going to say is no. So, you know, it's kind of a lot of work for someone to tell you no, but we don't have access to a Bifrost. Yeah. Second, um, it is imperative that we leave today at 10 o'clock. There is something happening that you are not aware of. And I would phrase it this way, knowing that Thok isn't privy to all of the information we have about dead guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I would phrase it this way on purpose. There is information you are not privy to that may... It's very important. And we need to get out of here as soon as we can and get on the path to wherever the Raven Queen things are happening. I know Loki's not feeling well. I've seen him come back from worse. 
I promise you that. The man's been killed three times, and he's come back every time. Can't get rid of him. I'm sure a cold won't keep him down. Well, I mean, it's not exactly a cold. And I love you, and I love your brother. But the last thing I need for him is just to throw up all over my shit. Right. You are aware that I can call rain to wash that away at any point in time. And he can handle a mop. So once he's feeling better, if you really wanted him to, he could mop up his own vomit. I, I'm just trying to help your brother out. Right. And I'm telling you, my brother needs about as much help as you do with being six foot ten. Which is none. So, trust me. I have information. I have we just have to go, Thok. There cannot be a delay. Right. Tell you what. You guys go ahead. I'll send Tibran with you. Set the ship up. I'll try to like help him up as much as I can. I'll help him to the ship. We'll meet you there by 10. You'll be there by 10. What time is it now? And I have no idea. DM, what time is it right now? <laughs> I'd say it's like 8.45. Okay. How far away is this where I want to go? It's a little ways away from the Isle of Storms. No, 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 no. Like where me and Loki want to go. Yeah, oh, how far is the shop from where they the are shop currently? From here. <clears throat> how far away is the illegal activities? Like, is it all the way to the shop? No. No, no laws will be broken. But it's like 20 minutes. It's not far. I can make it to the ship by then. Could they make it? Well, you don't have to make it to the ship. You have to make it to Alders, because aren't we going through the tree? Mm. Isn't that how we get back to the Isle of Storm? I right. We were... And that, we... No, but the ship is at the Isle of Storms, so we have to go there first. Oh, I thought the ship was here. It is no. not. Got it. So 10 o'clock, I will see you at... It's is the the surname's Linden, right? Or you, that's the one you chose. What is your parents' actual surname? Eliaris. Okay, so I'll see you at the area Eliaris house at ten o'clock. You give me your word. I will give you my word. We will be at the Eliaris house by ten and o'clock. I, I will drop Mjolnir on the floor and put my hand out to shake Thok's hand. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. I know. Oh, my elbow just popped. <laughs> I actually heard that. That sounded like it. <laughs> and then I'll I'll nod and I'll say thank you. I truly appreciate it. And call Mjolnir and walk downstairs. Okay. And then as soon as I see him, I'm gonna say, "They're not gonna be there at ten o'clock." <laughs> and I was. That's the door closed. <laughs> so. I kind of want to, I know we have our two-week hiatus. I kind of want to see what happens. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm curious, genuinely I curious. Too. I want to know. <laughs> I know, I do too, but I, I can't I can't go much longer tonight. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we'll close it there. It's going to be a, a fucking merchant oh, heist. Shit show. <laughs> so, yeah. And then uh, we'll get to the Isle of Storms and then off to see the Queen. Will we? Will we get to the Isle of Storms? <laughs> I really Maybe hope supermarket so. sweep, but make it theft. <laughs> Super, supermarket, supermarket theft. theft. Oh, guys, thank you so much for watching another episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Junk Drawer. Dang. Like Justin said, we will have a two-week hiatus. Uh, just with holidays coming up, we're all going to be a little busy running around. But we will be back in two weeks. Um, and I think pretty soon we're going to have a, a guest on, which will be kind of cool. Um, a friend of the show. So stay tuned for that. We are very excited for all the things. Um, Josh, would you like to read some names from the chat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would actually. Yeah. Um, would okay. Absidy, you like to read some names from the chat? Oh, I can do Absidy, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Gandalf the Babe, Ladybug, uh, X3, um, Lana Ray with a bunch of Ys, and... Uh, <laughs> Um, Absidy is getting nerdier, so it always talks like this. Uh, as, as Shawarma Chameleon. Thanks, yeah. 
Looks looks we come wait. Thanks for watching our our episode seventy two. The next one's gonna be a lot of fun, so please stay tuned and thank you for watching all seventy episodes so far. If you've seen campaign one, you know what you're getting into. So we love you very much and good night. Good night everybody and have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy turkey. Happy Thanksgiving. Doing that voice hurts my head. <laughs> Bye. Very, 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 very I, I just go, like it actually I just go hurts. Full Neil Goldman. <laughs>